Hunters, Titans, and all the ships at sea. It's time once again for a happy hour from the tower, and I am your host, T. Morris. Yeah, I've done this before. This terminal looks like it's in use as a forum for dead orbit folks. About what you'd expect. Lots of pictures of people wearing black and nihilistic poetry. And Morrissey. Lots and lots of Morrissey. And sitting over to my left, I'm Nick Kelly. Damn it! Feel safe to shoot at me! Then I advise you not get shot. And sitting across from me. I'm Brandon Kelly. Oh, is that really all you got? Nah, we still got a lot. We still got plenty in the tank. Plenty in the tank. So, maybe guys. we do. Let me see. Are we going to have a good episode? Let me consult my ghost. <laughs> <laughs> you've been, you've been, I got a lot of stuff in my office, chat. I better I make not no tell you now. Better not. <laughs> Kind of, kind of like the way things are going in Destiny right now, don't, don't you think? It's just, you know, let's grind and let's not tell you. I'm, I'm not saying it's trials, but uh, trials, you know well, what I mean? Come those on. those drop-ins were not from this season, which mm -mm. should tell you a lot about this season. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, the thing was, I, 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 was uh, I, I did try to fish out, uh, this is what love sounds like. I, I wanted to have that. I wanted to isolate that. Um, that that's from that's from the um, Crimson, days. <clears throat> Crimson days, yeah, the, uh, the Crimson doubles, which I actually have been having a good time with. I know I know some people dig Crimson doubles, some people do not. I'm I've never asked you. Have, are you not a Crimson doubles guy or no? I'm Crimson doubles when I enjoy Crucible. <laughs> okay, well then I guess you're not so going like to be two I, years ago. Okay, well then <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Well then I guess <laughs> I, I, I guess then you're not you're not you're not partaking of the Crimson doubles. I got my Komodo and then dipped. I'm, just, I'm done with Crucible, dude. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I actually just started the I Komodo. Know. I thought I was, and you know what? The, so I'm just gonna own it. I thought I was really close into getting the uh, the Dawn Seal Savior title. The Savior title. I was really looking forward to it, and then I discovered that um, I was way behind in my collections. Danger Zone. However, I wrote a book, so I'm not I'm not gonna <laughs> complain. I am I am in the 140s and I'm like level 148. I have I have uh, completed most of the most of the the triumphs involved with the um, the Savior Seal. I um I have gotten a lot done this season versus the season of the Undying. I've been having a great time. Um, the fact that I was able to, to write to do that and write a dummies book in three months as opposed to the normal four months, yeah. I'm good. I am good. And last night, I meant to I mention uh, I meant to say this. Last night, I was doing a uh, an impromptu stream about editing, and I saw that come up. Yeah, it was fun. It was it was fun. I, I I regret not getting more time to do it. But the funny thing was was that I'm really hoping knock you know knock wood. I'm hoping that the that the books a hit because I was talking about the browser version of Discord, and somebody that I've seen in our Discord said, wait. There's a browser version of Discord? I had no idea. And I know this guy's been working with Discord for years. So the fact that I've already taught one thing and the book isn't even out yet, you know what? I think that's a good sign. Unleash the fury! So I'm good. I'm good. Nobody's going to ask me my opinion? On Crucible? I was going to ask you your opinion. Well, you don't, play Cru you don't play Crucible, buddy. What are you talking about? I haven't played it. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this is the way it is with your father. It's a trap! Constantly. Today, what I, at least. What I... What I did want uh, you to ask me was um, about my Christmas lights. <laughs> are your Christmas lights still up? They are not. <laughs> February. <laughs> your Christmas lights are still up. Take them down. You're welcome. Shut up. Great. Because man, that that was a that was a long, slow burn for for a punchline. You are correct. That was oh, a yeah. long. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm long, about. I am about to make slow. it up to both of you. Oh, no, you're oh, not. Yes, no, no, I swear not. I am because I have. He's got a gun. I have a question that I didn't. That we did not talk pre-show. Okay. Uh, if you had to guess, trials and, and don't go to warmind.io because that's where the answer is. Um, the most popular. Or, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. Most popular in terms of it, people who have earned. This is it. show number sixty, by the way. We got this down pat. Oh, we yeah. got this down pat. Earned it. <laughs> and the least, least popular in terms of people who have owned it for titles. Over titles. Yes. Oh, so you oh, titles. Um, and seals. Okay. 
I would what say do you think is the, the the title that people have earned the most and the least? Wayfair is the is is the one that's it's the Wayfair most. and Unbroken is the least. So you're wrong on both. I really? was going to say is it Dredgen. Dredgen is the I one would, that more, more people have than anything else. I was oh, gonna, oh, it's Blacksmith. Really? I was going to say Blacksmith for the least. So not that three hundred twenty eight thousand people have Dredgen. Wow. That's yeah. I could have guessed that. Wow. Okay. So 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 what are the numbers? Uh, the most popular one is it's Dredgen. Not, it's yeah, Dredgen. Yeah, but it's not MMXIX. No, it, the, it, they'll surprise you. No, because I checked this like recently. Okay. Is it Reckoner? It's not Harbinger. Oh, Harbinger! There are wow. a whopping fourteen thousand people who play Destiny on the planet. No, who, who are linked to? Oh, really? is that Warmind.io? Not. Yeah, Warmind.io. Oh shoot! Yeah. Okay. Which is point oh four percent. Harbinger. Really? Yes. Probably because it's the it's the newest, right? One of the newest. Okay. Yeah. Second. Least, like earned. My mic is. No, you're, you're fine. You're no, fine. no, no. It's in your my head. headset is. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah, I know. Is there it blisteringly loud? No, it's uh, glitching. Anyway, no. Reckoner is the second, second okay. least. Haha! Uh-huh, suck it. With a whopping, <laughs> a whopping eighteen thousand players, which is point oh five one percent. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And you go to warmind.io to find that to find the process on uh, progress on the fractaline. Uh, Donations and a bunch of other stuff too, but so yeah. Well, um, so the easy, I honestly the, thought the, it was blacksmith because I've I've rarely seen any. But when I see people walk by with blacksmith in their title, I'm like, damn. The, the, you know? the top four, yeah. like it's there's a precipitous drop once you get to chronicler. Like everything before yeah. that, because Wayfair is number two. Okay. Um, I'm trying to. I knew it was between Dr- Dredgen and Wayfair. Yeah, those those are the two. Like yeah, has, I know because even I have one of those. <laughs> I'm missing one thing for Wayfair. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is it one of the because, snipe, one of the EP weapons? No, it, no. I, I get the. You, you guys are gonna laugh. Is it that goddamn Braytech Osprey? No, he nope. has that. No, <laughs> it's not. I got that too. I just uh, wanted to mention it. <clears throat> uh, I appreciate it. No, uh, actually, knockers. <laughs> what it was was it's something um, stupid because we had this conversation. It's one of the forge yeah. things, isn't no. it? No, I after I got Curse Breaker, I said I need a break from uh, from the Dreaming City, mm-hmm. and I just forgot about going to the Dreaming City. Mm. One piece of it's lore. It's talking to the queen. It's talking, talking, talking to the queen. Yep. I have one piece no, of lore. That's chronicler. To pick up. Yeah, for you said chron- we, no, no, you oh, said Wayfarer. Wayfarer. No, I have Wayfair. I'm sorry. Yeah, I yeah. meant to say chronicler. But yeah, it's that there's one piece of lore, and I keep forgetting to go get it because yeah. it's, it's time. It's this week, and it's this week. Yep. I might go get it today. <laughs> Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the title? Uh, but there you have it. Um, yep. so, so you said it was Wayfair, Chronicler. Uh, do you remember the other top? So Dred- Dredgen was the, the number one. Oh, sorry. Wait, Wayfair it, was second. Chronicler, I think, was fifth. Yeah, I think Cur- Curse Breaker is third. It's up wow. there. I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea. Curse Breaker mm. was in it. Was in the top five. Yep. That's amazing. So, what, but you know, but what? the fact that like because Brandon takes such pride in Reckoner, and I'm like, well, let's see where it is. Uh, God, nobody has. That. Yeah. No, <laughs> well, even so, no, no, no. Datto himself yeah. has every seal except Reckoner. No, no, no. Oh, he was. He's like, if I run any of them, it's gonna be Reckoner. Oh, that's cool. And that's goes to show you how hard Reckoner yeah. oh, is. Oh no, 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 no. I, I solo queued to that. <laughs> oh no, I, I, no, I totally get it. Look, Lulu, Lulu. Uh, oh, by the way, before I forget, friend yes. of the show, Lulu. Uh, she is. Uh, she she is embarking on an adventure. She is going to Australia this weekend. Oh. So uh, by the time she hears this, hopefully she will have touched down safely in Australia. Have a great time, Lulu. We love you. And uh, be safe and is have she, a good time. Is she going across the ditch to New Zealand at any point? No, she is not. Across I asked the if she, ditch. That's uh, the saying. I asked Pippa. That's actually that's saying great. it yeah. is. Uh, and the, you're Seth, welcome. She, she said. She said. She said. Uh, <laughs> not this go round. Okay. But again, back to you, Brandon. You're welcome. <laughs> Shut up. You and and, and if you're in chat, feel free. All caps. Uh, no, thanks, Brandon. No, no. Yeah, thanks, Brandon. <laughs> thanks, Brandon. Feel free. Feel free. Chat, uh, chat is on the left monitor in front of Brandon, like the one that has and the camera. right monitor actually. <laughs> is, uh, oh, you're not watching the raid still? <clears throat> no, not because it, it switched it over. To my, it, it switched over. Oh, it stopped yeah. hosting, so we switched over to my channel. We've got five viewers. So anyway, one um, of which is me. There you go. So let's talk. actually based on how many tabs are open, it might be three. Let's. Nope. It's one. No, it is not. Let's <laughs> talk <laughs> about the current. And it doesn't season. count yourself. Yeah. Let us talk about this. Let's, well, and I was gonna, I was gonna dovetail off that. Okay. I, I really believe, because I was talking about it today, one, I really believe one of the things that, uh, the reason why Harbinger is such a is such a uh, humble title, and, and so few people have it, apart from it being new, is that there's now so much stuff to do in Destiny, and then when the new season hits, when the new season, when the season of the dying hit, we barely scratched the surface of stuff to do on the map. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
the Pit of Heresy, uh, you know, for one thing, it's a great dungeon. I, I think I like the Pit of Heresy more than I like oh, the Ascended Challenge. Oh, I definitely Challenge. do. No, I, the I, Shattered I, I Throne? Love, I love the Shattered Throne. I loved going into the Ascended Challenge, or, sorry, going to the Ascended Realm and doing the Shattered Throne. It's cool. I just don't think it beats Pit. But the Pit, but the Pit's amazing. Yeah. I, I love doing the Pit. Now, <clears throat> that being said, uh, Pit of Heresy, Altar of Sorrow, all these great activities in the moon and I really feel like some of it got forgotten because well, okay, immediately so, they launched into the season of the end die. Yeah, but like one of the big things for Harbinger is to do time trials for every master nightmare hunt. Right. And they rotate three a week. Right. But we don't know what the rotation <laughs> is. So you have You're to right. get lucky on figuring out which one is which. Hmm. And you have to do it in a certain time on the hardest difficulty. And it's that's what Harbinger is. And, and I hate Harbinger. <laughs> well, then... You will not, you'll, you'll be one of those people not getting that one, I guess. You don't know that. Well, no, I didn't. If I walk into a room and I've got Harbinger equipped, <laughs> that's going to that's going to turn some heads. Yes, that's going to turn some heads. And 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 again, another apology for me. And uh, thank you for the lurks, everybody. I see people lurking in chat. Thank you very much. Good to see you all. Um, so Nick, you Hi. have your, you, you have your copious amount of notes. Let's talk about the current grind of the season of dawn. Let's talk about the Empyrean Foundation. The Empyrean Foundation. The Empyrean Foundation. Which is to donate Fractaline to the obelisk. Yes. Yeah. And yes. now it is the community event. <clears throat> yeah. Just like we yeah. had we had the thing on Mars, which was a blast. But we, oh, that was a great time. Yeah, that but we screwed up time. and totally overdid expectations, which is why this one is... It's a little tough. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, for an update, so if you guys want to know, as we were talking about titles, in order to get the Savior, Triumph, and Title, and Seal, yes. and whatever else goes with that... Um, <laughs> You have to hit the community has to collectively uh. reach the seventh milestone of donated fractaline. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, right now we have hit stage five. Yes. Yes. Yep. yep. Which is five billion, I think. Nope, because we're at four point two billion. Oh. Five billion is the next step. Nope. Uh, six, six billion. billion? Six, yeah, billion six billion is billion. stage six. Huh. Yes. Here's um, what I think is happening. It's a very grindy thing. In Extremely the, grindy. Right before this, we had you had to you have to, you actually had to grind to enable the obelisks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Including one that was, you know, maybe accessible sometimes on the EDZ. Uh, <laughs> while that was happening, Ava Levante wow. showed up and said, "You need to deliver freaking Girl Scout cookies all across the universe." So here we go. Yep. So there was another grind going on there because you had to get all the ingredients right and all that stuff. I, was, I, I still, we got to deliver a cookie to Ribbon. We got to deliver a cookie to Ribbon. That was fun. As it's the only one I didn't do. Oh, I, I did all it. the other ones. Loved yeah. it. Loved it. Loved it. Uh, and now we're in the the community. All has to grind to get the to complete the Empyrean Foundation. Yep. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. a little much. I think that I think that, I think that sums it up. <laughs> so this is what, so here's here's what I think is happening now that we're a, a two weeks in, week two. Yes. Week yeah, two this week two. Week two. Yeah. Is Okay, depending on what resonance rank that you've gotten the obelisks up to, that amount essentially gets given back to you on reset day. Right. Yep. It is. It okay. does. It is and it does. So if you look at when the donations are happening, it goes, hey, it's Tuesday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I think everybody's relying on that, on the, yeah, they the are. Tuesday yeah. spike. Of course they are, yeah. To the point where I don't know if we get to stage seven. And I don't know what happens if we don't. As yeah, a that's what I'm wondering. Because, like, We've only ever had one community challenge before. And we blew it away. Yeah. Yeah. But what happens if we fail one? That's a great... Especially, that is a fantastic yeah, question. Right? Especially one that has this big of a predicted reward. Can we just say Can we just say trials? Can, <laughs> we, trials, can we really just yeah. say trials? Because that this this is the biggest hype for the unknown for the unknown reveal. Because if it isn't if it isn't if it isn't trials, it's there's going to be there's going to be rioting in the streets. Yeah. There, or, and if not rioting in the streets, there's going to be a mass ex exodus away from Destiny. You don't think it's um, one exotic? <laughs> we'll, we'll, two tokens in a blue. We'll talk. That's about, what it is. We'll two talk exotic about that's that. already on the roadmap. Yeah, we'll there talk you go. About that. All right, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Yeah. So I guess the goal is to power and cleanse the sundial, right? Is it the ultimate goal of Basically, what we're doing yeah. behind right. powering the tower right. obelisks? Right. Okay. No, we didn't get a chance, and and speaking of that, we re really did not get a chance to even talk about because of our because of our timing, because of book deadlines, because of a lot of different things. We really didn't get a chance to talk about the stuff that was leading up to this. Uh, case in point, the the corridors of time yeah. and, and things of that. Another another community challenge that um, was met with I 
Oh, we, are we getting into the corridors of time puzzle? Yep. That, Did, yeah. Let, you, I, okay. I, I think we, I think we should talk about it. Let's I mean, do that. I do. I do want to cover the sundial afterwards. I mean, I mean, the the thing about the corridors of time puzzle was I had nothing to do with it. I was watching people. I was watching people stare at an image and try different things, and that was truly the most boring thing I have ever seen from this game. It was. Um, I watched more people stream their guardian looking at their feet. Yeah. It yeah. was like it was like going to an all day jam band concert, where everybody just tries to play something cool and stares at their shoes. It was I, it I, was not cool. No, <laughs> I I honestly the 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 stuff that I was watching there, I it, to me it re, it brought back bad memories of when I played Mist back in the day. Oh, when you get stuck. Yeah, yeah, and you had and and the thing the funny thing was, and this is something that your generation thankfully will never know. Um, I had to explain it to uh, to Sunny, my our, you know, my daughter. You, you know, we mentioned her on the show, Sunny. Yep. Anyway, so Sunny, um, Sunny was like, "What's wrong with the puzzle, Dad?" And I said, "Look, <clears throat> this is bringing back bad memories of Mist." And then she kind of gave me that, that 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 tilted stare, and I realized, "Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about." Okay, try this, and I had to put it in Destiny terms so she would understand. I would say, "Okay, now." Let's laughs. say, <laughs> let's say, what was that? Nobody laughs. Um, no, I, I went, I went one step further, and that's the thing. I was amazed that they didn't learn their lesson from Naomi, Naomi Labs. But this, this is where I was coming, coming from. Basically, it's like, okay, let's pretend that you had, you had, you had a solution for the puzzle. So you enter the solution, to the puzzle. Then you had to go to the tower, and then after you go to the tower, you then had to go back to the puzzle to try out, to try it out. Picture doing that, and she's just kind of like, I was like, yeah. That's what it was like to get stuck in the game Mist. You punched in something, and then you had to wait for Hypercard to take you back one, and then you had to go back to another scene and wait for that scene to load. And then when you got there, you tried to see if the puzzle worked. If it didn't, you had to go load in the other scene and then load in the other scene. And it was that kind of tediousness that really turned me off on puzzle-based games. And I really had a tough time even, even getting excited about this. I was watching people lose their effing minds, spreadsheets out the wazoo, and I'm like, this is no longer a game. This is a class project. Yeah. And That's a good description. Yeah. And I, I, I mean, I was glad that somebody else solved it, but I hated being that guy waiting for somebody else to solve the puzzle. And to see the amount of work, the amount of design to be wasted on that puzzle. Because, you know, I mean... Essentially what it... It was. I mean, if they were going to take that map and put a strike in there or a raid in there, oh yeah. my god, that would have been brilliant. Yeah. But this is for a puzzle. I'm like, really, guys? Really? We learned. It was nothing? an exotic that was already on the roadmap, which is why everyone was disappointed because yeah. we'd had secret exotics before, like Whisper, Outbreak, and Bad Juju, that weren't listed right. anywhere, right. and they were callbacks and and old exotics from D1 that everyone was like. That everyone loved. Right. And then this was a new weapon already on the roadmap, which is what contributed to it. Yep. And it, you're going to get it and probably toss it in your vault because it's not that good. I, I like it. No, I, I, I will I admit, know. I like it. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not in love with it. I mean, I like it. But, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, for, for all of that, and, and, I, and for me, it was, it was more about the development. The fact yeah. that they had this elaborate, beautiful map, and it was for this. And now, granted, I will also say I loved the the uh, the lore that was unlocked. Yeah, I oh, loved the, the lore in the Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That all that stuff was brilliant, but for a puzzle, I was like, I really, guys? I, and I and really? I and I only ran it as many times as I did because it was Saint fourteen lore. I mean, I was like, come on, are <laughs> yeah, you kidding me? There you go. There you uh, go. So to your point about we knew Bastion was on the was on the roadmap. Yep. The argument is made that they have to sell the seasons a la carte now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so to yeah. say, yeah, there's a, an exotic quest coming for this thing uh, is one of the selling points for them to go, it's worth 10 bucks this season. Like they can't, if they leave it off the roadmap and it's just suddenly it shows up. Then they they miss a marketing opportunity. It's kind of that's that was sort no, of and, one and of the that. schools of thought there, right? And I do get that. Right. I I, I think it was a swing and a miss. Uh, I rank it up with Naomi yeah. Labs. To Brandon's I rank point, it up with labs. it's the curse of Osiris. Anytime Osiris is <laughs> yeah. involved in content, it all goes off. This I think I got that from the curse Joe. Of Osiris. I think that was from Joe. Yeah, when this he truly was is the curse of Osiris. That 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 it, it's just it's just meh. Um, 
Now, I will say this. Um, uh, Corey just said this in, in, in chat. Yep. Mist was an absolutely beautiful game for its time, and it was. It was. Oh, absolutely. It was groundbreaking. It was, it was absolutely yep. groundbreaking. I have both the soundtracks for Mist and Riven. And the, and the gameplay was unlike anything, anything else Anything anyone had seen before. Yeah. yeah, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. But to, to a similar point, so one of the Bardstale games had a, a little puzzle in it where you had to go in. There were four rooms, and you had to go into them in the correct order yeah. three times. Yeah. No, like there's no in-game justification for it. It's just like, well, we needed to make it a little harder, so we just decided instead of you, there's not even like anything physically you step on or push or magically right. see just or anything. Into the it's room. just, it's you just have to do it three times. Huh. But like, um, why? But yeah. Like, but, but so don't make it harder for the sake of making it harder. Make, make it make sense. Yeah, but uh, but Corey goes on to say it felt like an unsatisfying grinding in an RPG to the nth power at times. Again, talking about mist. He's right, and and you're absolutely right, Corey. I will I will give you a game though to play that I've described people as it's mist with a much more satisfying ending and much more satisfying payoff. It's an indie game called Soul S O L E done by Gossamer Games. I raved about it. That you, you, soundtrack is amazing. Oh, isn't it oh, beautiful? Yeah. It's absolutely so gorgeous. Very 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 zen. Very zen. Very zen. Mom and, would like it. Mom. And um, no, not the gameplay. She liked the soundtrack. Yeah. But uh, but no, it's it's absolutely She'd like fantastic. the art style. That's but true. go on ahead, go on ahead and check that out, Corey. I think you'll dig it. It's called Soul by Gossamer Games and discovered it in Mac. S O L E. S O L E. But going back to and, I, and if I if I threw off your you didn't your, throw off anything. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, the quarters of time I fluid. was fluid <laughs> and and I would say you you be water, my friend. That's as, right. As Bruce Lee would say, easy like Walter, Sunday morning. To there you go, Commodores. or the Commodores. But um, but going back to the corridors of time and and their maps, um, the fact that the the new sundial, the legendary, uh, the new sundial mission takes you back into the corridors of time. I was pretty stoked about that. Yeah, it was cool. Like I love the design of the oh, corridors the of time. Oh, the design was gorgeous. Plus, you love the Vex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the Vex when they lead to something satisfying. Well, well, and and, and like again, Vault of Glass. or 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 even the uh, the Vex offensives. I loved the Vex offensives. Yeah. They were fun. No, it wasn't Vault of Glass, but I mean, you know, the Vex storms were fun. The Vex yeah. storms were a blast too. Yeah. I was kind of. I mean, at least there's unpredictability in the sundial. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, the, but uh, but Vex but, offensives are the same thing. So so where are we go? So where are we going with uh, what what um, after corridors of time? What 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 do your copious notes take us next? So what, I, what else do you want to talk so about? So the sundial, like I, I don't think the sundial is bad. It's I, just another menagerie is the problem. It is another menagerie. Yeah, it is another menagerie. And that's why the community's like, uh. but you know, but you know, when you have wait, what was that? What was that again? <laughs> I'm sorry. One more time. <laughs> 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 Suddenly, so, I, so I really like menagerie because yeah. maybe and maybe it's because I. Hadn't done I stuff liked, on the Leviathan previously because yeah. right. I really like that aesthetic. And I, and I like the aesthetic of this is the the Leviathan is so big. These are the abandoned rooms. This yeah. is like the abandoned wing. So I kind of dug that. We're in the but, junk drawer of the Leviathan. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what is this cable going? But I found this cable. What does this go to? But um. But the the other thing I, I would say is that is that I like the sun. I, I think the payoff of zipping through the sundial is a little more satisfying when you have a team uh, that that really knows what they're doing. When you get that, when you zip through the stuff in the in menagerie, I was I, I felt a little cheated because I liked staying in those rooms. I liked exploring the 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 the, 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 the discarded parts of the Leviathan. But the the sundial I've been enjoying. Can I Go tell tell the undefeated? Go for it. The the story for the sundial that the the triumph, uh, undefeatable. Where you have to go through a sundial run without dying. Oh, yeah. oh I know oh, yeah. the story. I love yeah, the story. I told you. I told both of you. Um, oh, God, yes. Yeah, so the sundial was designed so that it would spin fast enough that guardians could jump up and kill themselves on it right. because guardians love to kill themselves. Right. Um, so it, when you're going for the undefeatable triumph and you're in midair after the last boss fight and haven't died yet, the sundial likes to teleport you into the spinning blades and kill you right before the triumph procs. <laughs> so I felt so bad for you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so you completed the activity and then get uh was it defeated by the architects? Is that you killed it? by the architects? Killed by the architects. <laughs> um, thrown into the wall of the sundial. And at you, full force. For those of you who have seen my um uh my um uh my highlight reels, um yeah. I actually had a close call with that as well. Yeah. But not with the sundial. This was this was this is what and you know, I will say this about doing highlight reels. I have discovered that I think I'm becoming a better player because of the highlight reels because now I'm looking right. and I'm going, oh, 
that was a dumb move, T. Why did you do that? And what, what case in point, I was hanging back. Yep. Everything was fine. And then I heard someone say, I don't have any heavy ammo. And I saw where they were, and I saw they had these two these two big um, – I wanted. I want, it wasn't the Ginsu guys, but it was the guy with. It was the guy with the rail. Colossus. Guy, Colossus. The Colossus. And I said, "I've got my super. I can help." <laughs> so what do I do? I sprint. I jump up, and I'm doing blade. And I was running. I was running a hunter. Mm-hmm. I was doing blade barrage. And what no one told me about blade barrage is that it is great in is open. You. Yes, yep. is that it? <laughs> it's great in open spaces. In close, tight spaces, not so much. Well, and the so knives I are quite up. explosive. Yeah, <laughs> I jump up. And um, and I and I and I and I do th- I, and as I'm jumping up everything and I, I did I do this in the highlight reel but I slowed it down because that was what I saw I saw myself jumping I was like no <laughs> and because my character not only floated up and uh, up and to the right up mm-hmm. and to the right he went into a corner mm-hmm. and I let go of the blades and I saw my health go from this to pew, and I'm like. Get the hell out of here! And, and of course, I was thinking, I was like, I need a healing rift. I need a healing rift. I need a warlock. I need a warlock. Because ah! I hadn't told anybody that I was that I was You're deathless. Playing a hunter. Yeah. Oh, that, oh I, that you were deathless. No. Yeah. And I, and I was, I was like, I miss my rift. And then if I. If you got, were running top tree night stalker, <laughs> you could have just dodged and gone invisible. I know. But I know. Done? I know. I know. But uh, but we got through it, and I did get it. And man, I was holding my breath to the last. Yeah. So Brandon had an <laughs> equally. Uh, depressing event yesterday. Your first death. Oh. <laughs> Talk to okay. me, Hudson. What so, was the, the, the Geek Wolf Pack podcast has been playing Neverwinter, yeah. which oh. is the, the official like, D&D Officially MMO. Officially licensed Dungeons and Dragons MMO. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. So, we made our, our characters. Yes. From ADHD D&D. Yeah. And mine is named Shade. So. Oh, no. Throughout the entirety of the game so far, Shade has been deathless. Oh no. Level 32? 30, 32. 32. Brace, brace, brace. I'm not going to like We this. walk into a dungeon, uh-huh. finish it, and as we're trying to leave, the door doesn't work. Oh no! Oh, oh. So there's an I'm stuck button mm-hmm. that you could click on, and all it does is move you a couple feet. So if you're stuck on a, 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 you know, a hidden bush or something in the yeah. game, it'll yep. move you over 20 feet. If, I, I tried if the, everything. If logged I'm out, logged back. Then they say just kill yourself. That's the fix. So his first his did? first death was because of the stupid door wouldn't open. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh. I'm not counting it, but dude, I'm with you. <laughs> Shade is a ninja of the night. By the way, by the way, that uh, that podcast where you can not only. Uh, here, Brandon as the uh, as 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 death uh, death, death embodied, incarnate at, death incarnate death incarnate at about at about a third about, the height yeah. murder ninja I think <laughs> the, was, no yeah, no murder, murder halfling murder, murder halfling. halfling murder halfling murder murder, murder hobbit murder hobbit murder that's hobbit that's murder the murder hobbit murder hobbit and you can hear my wife wrestle a velociraptor and call it George in, uh, a, in about 2024 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that uh, that that uh, website is adhddnd.com there we go. Yes. There we go. An emo teen barbarian who can uh, currently go to I think twenty one feet tall. Yep, pretty much. Yeah. So um, so what else? Uh, so so yeah. So going but going back to destiny, going back to what yes. we were talking about with uh, with the sundial. Um, let me talk to you about the sundial. Let's talk about the sundial. So talk about how many bosses are there in the sundial? Four. Do you know the story behind them? They were trying to control the timelines to revert the red war. That's all I got. So Not that no. they won the red war. Ditto. So. Correct. Everything that was told to us in the trailer yep. of Season of Dawn is what we know. Right. Right. So this gets into the relationship between the Scions and the Cabal. Right? Do so you guys know that the Scions are not Cabal? Cabal. They yeah. were subjugated. They were a whole race that was subjugated by the Cabal army. Okay. Okay. So the three bosses are three Scion sisters. One per elemental uh, yep. affinity, right? So I don't know. Their names suck because they're like <laughs> Aztec stuff, so I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> Guys, just so you know, yeah. we're, we're coming up on our break, yeah. so you, you you need to pick yeah. up the pace, buddy. Okay. <laughs> so their whole thing is they go in, they find the the vex, they find that there's this human powered energy, which is a sundial, and that it there's a way for them to explore the past, present, and future. Thanks, Osiris. Right. Thanks, Osiris. <laughs> Can I get some thanks, Osiris, in chat? Please. And so the first three bosses, there's one for each element. Then uh, the guardians come and jack up all their plants because that's what we do, guardians love to do. Oh yeah. So they combine their minds and put them into their fourth sister, 
Oh. Who becomes Inotam, which is the the boss boss, the last boss, the legendary boss. That's cool. Right. Now, it's and really... You actually see that in... Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. she's all three... Yeah, she's all three elements. Yeah. Yeah. It's dance. actually quite cool. Yeah. And then it even calls <laughs> all the way back to... You know, that little girl and her dog, they are inseparable. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, it calls all the way back to... <laughs> in the lore... Go ahead. To Adzat. So if you remember, if you guys got the collector's edition or any of the special editions oh, of Destiny God. 2, like the wanted people that, that had the, the callus yeah. had the folks who betrayed him, yeah. that was the Scion, was Adzat, who had rebuilt the Oxa machine, which was used to predict futures, and that earned her the title of his Imperial Dreamer. And there was a moment when Callus was going to free all the Scions, and she talked him out of it because it would make her title less desirable. So the fact that Osiris built a better version of the of the Cabal predictable <laughs> prediction engine to go into your friggin' uh, realm, right? Right. Uh, it, it, that like to do that kind of callback with the lore, I just thought was that's amazing. And that's the thing. Sick. That's the thing that Bungie has has been doing really well in D two there, and and even in D one, their storytelling has been really on point. It's been really on point. Oh, it's dude, the Saint missions are literally my favorite oh, Destiny missions yeah, ever. Yeah, absolutely. And the lore in the in the quarters of time is really it's it's yeah. personable. And hands up, who's, it bought, who's bought all the books so far? I mean, well, I'm, you. Yeah. Oh, am I the only one? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, they're beautiful books. Are you kidding? We have the first one. Good. I'm yeah. 15. Yeah, and um, I want the cookbook. Yeah. Oh, really? You want the cookbook? I do. You just well, never quit, do you? Quick, well, Sorry. quick shout out. Quick shout out about the cookbook. There is a streamer named uh, um, uh, Kara Lee. Mm -hmm. uh, o x o x Kara Lee uh, on Twitch, and I will I will give a link in the show notes. Her plan is that when that comes out, she is going to stream doing every recipe from the cookbook. Somebody's got to do it. I think somebody's got to do it, and I think it's got to be Kara Lee. So, okay, so uh, we're going to go to a break, and when we get back, we're going to talk a little bit more about. Uh, the Imperian uh, Foundation. The, the Imperian Foundation. We're going to talk about the current grind, and we're just going to speculate on stuff that's happening right after this break. And you're going to keep talking this way. No, you're doing fine, man. No, you were. <laughs> oh, I was doing yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I was doing that. Well, th this might when, this when, might this uh, might get slightly Bife different. Mentioned, sure. Bife mentioned Odds Out, and I'm like, oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. That it's a callback to day one of friggin' that's Destiny amazing. 2. I love that. Yeah. So everybody, this is the uh, this is the portion of the show where uh, we open it up to chat. If anybody's got any questions that they'd like for us to cover in and the second half of the now. show, go ahead. Yeah, we can fucking swear if we want to. Um, <laughs> the we thing can, that's funny is it, in the lore, we're, we're going to riff on the mics for a bit too, just yeah. to j just to j just to keep it. Is it cool. in the lore they immediately include all of the time travel tropes? Do like, they? Can we go back and influence them? Well, why don't we get back and do the baby Hitler kill him thing? Like, I mean, they have all of that in there, and you're like, wow, yeah, that's you great. Get, but they they do it in like a. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. Like, nudge, nudge, say no more. Yeah, and I, I think that that's a. I like that the majority of the lore is available. We had this conversation the other day, mm. both in game, and outside on an app. But uh, okay, so where? But there are right, so there are things that are written. Where, where in the D two app is the lore? Right. On my desk. <laughs> <laughs> my phone is not here. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Um, but the. The sort of prelude entries that they've been putting in the blog on Bungie.net, where they're just little things. I'll still that, do the bell, everybody. They're just, you know, those little, like, Ikora before the Vex, uh, before the Undying. Like, there were all those, just like little entries that are kind of partial extra lore entries that just kind of help you wet your whistle for the story. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, um, yeah, and... Um and just so just so chat just so chat knows, yeah. The, so the plan is we're gonna uh, in the second half of the show. This is like a like I said a thirty minute little buffer that we uh, we throw out there. We also do this at the end of the show. So for those of you who are new to, new to chat, thank you very much for coming. Yep. Uh, this is you happy hour from friend? the tower. Huh? You need water? Are you good? I have water. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is happy hour from the tower. This is a uh, podcast we've been doing close on three years now. Well, Welcome I'm almost tower. sixteen, so yes. Yeah, three years. Wow. Anybody know our anniversary date? Um, yeah, it's around I, my birthday. Uh, I do. I think it's my calendar. Is, um, it's the fifteenth or something. I want to say it's the mm. before it's, that. It's either no. March. I think it's March. It's March. Yeah, it's March. It's March. But it's like it's either the third. It's either the third or the sixth. It's one oh, of those okay. two. Yeah, I, I have it. It's in my no. I, isn't it? It's nope, after. No, nope, it's I have it saved in my Google Calendar, which is on my desk. <laughs> which is but on your desk. Yes. So there you have it. The first episode is asking me how I how it feels to be. I'm just telling you what it says in my calendar, man. My calendar don't lie. Maybe we did a prelude. Maybe we did a, maybe, maybe we did a uh, episode zero. I think we did. 
Uh, no, we actually came out of the box swinging with episode one. But give me a second. I will actually, I will actually look it up. But, um, but yeah, for those of you who are uh, who are new to the podcast, this is Happy Hour from the Tower. We are available uh, on <laughs> for parties and bar mitzvahs. For parties and bar mitzvahs. <laughs> yeah. And okay, we are Shecky sorry. Green over here has, has not had any coffee. No, I've, I've been... had caffeine now. Oh, I you got caffeine oh, yeah. now. Oh, Which I can no longer go. get in my auto order. Oh. I don't know what they're doing, but. Oh, poor you. Oh, jeez. Um, okay. I would like for you to enact the GFY protocol, please. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> we don't have to stay for a second half. No, we can just do this shtick for, 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 for. No, we're good. Oh, oh, we're good. This is good. Chat, what's on your mind? Yeah, by all means, reach out to us. Tell Currently, us what's on your mind. Currently, there's three thanks, Osiris's and How are hey, you hey, feeling about the okay. Empyrean March Foundation? 14th, March 14th, 2017. Was when it was published. Was when it was published, yeah. You were published. Doesn't mean it's when we recorded it. It's true. Oh my God! Really? You're gonna split that hair, man? Okay. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. How many episodes did we record that never made it on air? That's true. And how many did you edit? Oh, that's, that's right. right. None. Yeah, I have that, two right, other podcasts right. to edit. Oh, you. oh, and who warned you about that? <laughs> who warned you about that? <laughs> who fucking warned you about that? Do you know why we're not a video podcast? <laughs> <laughs> So okay, I gotta. There give wouldn't. It, I, I gotta give, no, 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 would be no, twenty forty five. You open that door, motherfucker! I am stepping through it. So um, I know, and I actually do appreciate you for roping me into all this dumb shit. I never would have had a podcast suck without it. you. Anyway, so here's what happened, Chat. I love you. Yeah. Anyway, so what happened, Chat, was that we um, we met. Nick and I met Nick and his lovely wife. Yeah, I waved my hand my, under the stall. And, and, oh no, that, that wasn't you. That wasn't me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, me and my lovely wife, we were we were paired up on a um, panel in a church. On a panel in the church, and nobody caught fire. Church. Nobody caught fire. Well, we were going to the church. Well, so yeah, but I didn't mean you. <laughs> no, exactly. But um, but it's uh, but it was a, a panel on couples that collaborate in uh, in in storytelling, and we we uh, we met the Kellys, and we were like, hey, would you mind if we record this for a podcast? Nope. And I remember Nick and Stacia looked at each other and said. We have no idea what the hell that is, but sounds great. So we propped up our H4N, and of course, Gadget Boy over there was like, want, want, <laughs> shiny. I don't have one shiny. of those. What's yeah. happening right now? <laughs> and then uh, we invited uh, Nick and Stacia over to um, record a podcast. Right, to record a podcast in studio. The shared so then desk. com. The shared desk. com. There you go. And they Dang. saw all this, and again, Gadget Boy saw all this gear, and he was like, <laughs> And then Nick reaches out and he says, hey, man, I want to start a podcast. And I said, I'm going to warn you right off the bat. You do not start a podcast. You start podcasting. And then you go, you know what? This is really cool. I think I'd like to do another podcast. I don't know anybody who has a tattoo. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Podcasts are audio and video tattoos. Yes. That is what they are. Big Marvinsky in chat. How oh, you doing? Jesus. What did he call you in his first day? Because he never says He hello. says, God dang, I don't edit podcasts, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right, Marv. But, um, What's up, dude? But no, no kidding. Um, that was how this whole thing started with Nick Stacia and Brandon. But, the, but Sorry. streaming has been one of the best things for you and for your podcast. You, like, I agree. The Share Desk hasn't been on a normal schedule until you started streaming. Until it. we started streaming, yeah, I know. Right. As I said in episode 100, congratulations, by the way. Thank you. You would never, you. you'd still be on episode 90 we, if it wasn't you guys, for You guys would have overtaken us. You guys would have overtaken us. We're close. Us. We did 88 last night. But um, We did. So um, I, I, I meant to ask, did you guys see the artwork from a, from the recent ADHD um, that Denise Lanneman, uh did for us? Oh, for Pip? Yeah, but did you oh, see yeah. the finish? Did you see the finished product? Yes. Maybe. It's a, it's in the hallway. It's got speech bubbles. Oh, I haven't seen the bubbles. Go <laughs> go, go 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 there. I, I will entertain. We'll chat, do. We'll do. We'll, we'll go in, in in shifts. Go first. Okay. But yeah, yeah, you'll be able to see it. Hilar- the, did you see the, the what Stacia had her do for us too? No, I didn't. Oh my god, it, the eyebrow. This kid. Oh my god, it's the best. <laughs> I love it. He she, two different versions, and I'm like. <gasps> That's, yeah, that's yeah. Brandon. Denise, okay, so this no, is in the a, stairway. The, yeah, it's, it's it's in the it's in the it's in the stairwell oh, coming, coming down, down here. here. So, so basically, you have to get, get all the way to the stairs. You get to the stairwell. Go up to the top of the stairs. He's doing vaudeville over here. Of course, he's off camera. But um, da 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 da. I am. You're singing telegram. Bang. So um, so yeah, so uh, yeah, Denise uh is uh so her her website is Candy Cane Studios. Dot com. So it's good. Up and running. She is super uber talented. If you are looking for artwork, um, it's it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Shuffle on in, kid. All right, let me go look. All right. 
But yeah, top of the stairs, you'll see it. Okay. Um, I guess we just get some water. And uh, but but you she, were saying she she was she's a she's a super talented artist. So what 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 did she get? What did she do for you guys? Did she did she do? A, uh, it was our a group family photo, kind of thing. Oh my god! Do you have? Do you have, Please tell me. You I don't know. <laughs> you don't have it on your phone. Let me guess. He has it on his phone. But it's. Uh, but, <laughs> He might. Um, it's somewhere. I don't know if it's. Anyway, uh, I don't so, know which one's the real one. So hold well, on. Well, this is the artist that has now done uh, the um, uh, the new artwork for the shared desk. So if you go to thesharedesk.com, you'll see caricatures of me and Pip, uh, steampunked up. I've got a microphone in, proudly in one hand, and Pip's got books in the other. Oh my god! I think that's it. I don't oh know if that's the, the actual my full render. God, that nailed it freaking nailed it chat i'm gonna hold this up to the camera so you can see it that is brilliant it's phenomenal it gives you it gives you a stop it gives you a, that is that's it's fantastic. scarily accurate for it is some of them. it is it is i mean yeah <laughs> stare at it for days <laughs> that's great <clears throat> chat thank you very much for joining us again you are uh you're in the you're in the intermission section of uh, happy hour from the tower this is not going to be in the final podcast that gets sent out to everybody uh this is just this is just where we riff where there we, will ever be a stream Jack. vod the, yeah yeah if you if you if you um you'll, you'll notice that you can see it in uh you can see it on demand uh you'll you'll see it on on youtube you can see it on twitch for a couple of weeks um but yeah no i, w- I would say streaming has been the coolest thing to happen to to all of my podcasts oh yeah and the and the, 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 the but i will say my biggest gripe Yes, you can say boobies. You can you can say you for can, now. You can say boobies. You you twat. Anyway, um, but uh, you can type it on a calculator too. Yeah, you can do, yeah, yeah. Um, you can do that as well. So what do you think? It's hilarious. I love it. It's so good. Oh yeah, she she just she just knocked it. When she when she sent me the rough sketches, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be tough. And she said, yeah, T, you're gonna have to pick one. And it's like, ugh. No, so, you don't. So what's nice is, well, I couldn't afford more than one. But good news, Candy Cane Studios is going to be doing the artwork. Uh, she has volunteered to do artwork for the uh, Puerto Rico fundraiser that me and Froy are doing. Oh, excellent. Um, just, to, just real quick, very, since we're talking casual. She's getting paid an exposure. Um, I told her that. I said, I said, look, I'm not going to say do this for the exposure. I'm just asking you straight up, could you do this? And um, and uh, Freud dot Dev is the guy I'm collaborating with. Freud is, uh, you know, a passion. He is very he is very Puerto Rican, and uh, he he was actually in Puerto Rico when the when the earthquake hit. Mm. Huh. Uh, he has been doing some on the ground uh, support and logistics for them. And then he came back here, and I said, Freud, I want to do some type of fundraiser. So we had our first our first sit down about it. And what we're going to do is we're going to do um, I think it's called Open World Kitchen. I think that's the name of the charity, but it's basically people who, who uh, they set up they set up operations on the ground um, in places like Puerto Rico. They're you know they're recovering from Haiti uh, and yeah. yeah, but they don't they don't come in with with truck full truck fulls of supplies. They come in and they go, "What do you all eat? What do you need?" And they go, "Well, we eat rice, beans, and chicken." Okay, then they make rice, beans, and chicken, and they take their 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 money and they get the ingredients from local farmers. Oh. So they're re- reinvesting it into the in, economy. In, in, into economy. the economy, yeah. and then they're co- they're cooking and teaching people how to cook. That's cool. And so I'm uh, so Freud and I Freud and I have are we're we're in the preliminary steps. What we need to do and chat. If you have any recommendations, feel free to email me at um, <clears throat> t at tmorris dot com, or you can reach uh, reach out to me on uh, on my Discord. Uh, send me um, send me. Puerto Rican or Puerto Rican friendly podcasts, or I'm sorry, not podcasts. Um, Recipes? No, um, streamers, because we want to see if we can recruit more people to uh, to this to this cause. Spanky said that really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I understand. No, Sparky, <laughs> I'll, I'll have Sparky, to... Sparky, you idiot. Anyway, I have to check. I'm so <laughs> no, um, initially mistook. I know, that. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I got a buddy who's from Rio Piedras and a friend who's stationed down there in Sabana Seca. So, like, happy to. Be part of that. As oh, Sweet as Cardona. Is he is he Puerto Rican? I'm trying to remember. Reach out. I'll ask him. I'll need, I, Why does me, your cadence change? Let me let me tweet him. Oh, <laughs> oh, you can't. It's on my desk. It's on your desk. It's, it's yeah, my house. yeah. I can reach out. Are they still doing? Well, here, here's a big question. He are is. They, they're still. Oh, he is still doing. Yeah. Last shots. time we talked to him was 
one of our milestone shows, and he said season the next season was getting ready to start. Oh, great. So uh, Let me question. pull up my podcast app. Oh, it's on yeah, the desk. I can't do that. <laughs> so, uh, I know, Sparky. I know. I know. So um, I will say this, though. Uh, for those of you who do not know, so this guy we're talking about, Josue Cardona, uh, he got a shout-out in Podcasting for Dummies. He has got what I think is one of the coolest, coolest podcasts Headshots. ever conceived. It's called Headshots. Yep. And he goes into this. He goes into the science and the psychology of gaming. Yep. Um, probably one of the best episodes that he and his uh, former partner, partner in crime, Kelly, Dr. Kelly, Kelly Dunlop, Dr. Kelly Dunlop did. They did a breakdown of Hellblade. Yep. And we watched. We actually watched uh, this um, this this terrific streamer test the fifth. We watched her beat it. Mm -hmm. And that game is messed up. I mean, it is it is intent. I, I, I'm like, I don't think I can play this game. Which game? It's it's called it's called Hellblade. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. And and it's based and, and it opens with a warning that says uh, this is based on um, studies that we have done with people who suffer from and from experts who deal with psychosis. So if you're starting to feel any of the any of the emotions that are being um, that are being inflicted upon you in this game, please reach out. And then they actually have a website, ba you know. Um, um, rooted in the game that you can visit if you feel like you need help. It's meant to keep you on that on that someone's drilling into your molars feeling the whole time. Yeah, uh, is it safe? Yeah, I know. Sparky it's, said it's, uh, that game messed with my head. I couldn't finish it. I know. So like, I, like I, I know I've told Brent. I don't know if I've told you. Like, I have a lot of I, 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 a lot of my friends like horror movies. I know a yeah. lot of people who've watched Heredi Hereditary. Yeah, I know nobody who's watched it more than once. Like it's it's un so Hereditary is like is like uncomfortable. The, well, so it, basically, it's like audition. That, the, <laughs> yeah, but I've, I've watched audition like twenty times. Oh my god! I love that movie. You're a sick man. You're a sick man. Oh, it's gr it's gross. <laughs> it's on the list, Brandon. Oh boy, it's on, it's on our uh, blackboard of movies to watch. Oh, Great. So speaking of movies, starting with the Brotherhood of the Wolf, which just yeah, for the fight yeah. scenes. Uh, oh okay. yeah. Now speaking of fight scenes, yes, the fight sequences in uh, in Witcher? Birds of Prey, and the Witcher. Well, the Witcher. Yeah, I no. just I'm in. But, I've just finished episode three of the Witcher. Oh. yeah. You got so much ahead of you. I did you see the like teaser for, seven, without uh, telling him? Did you see the teaser for Stranger Things four? Yep, okay. I did. All right, we'll I leave did. it at that. From Russia with love. Yes, and thank you for uh, making sure nobody spoiled the boys for me because that was wasn't that amazing. Such a good wasn't that amazing? <laughs> wasn't that amazing? <laughs> that freaking show is amazing. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, but going back, so so yeah. Right oh, now, so Birds of Prey right now, fight scenes. Right now, yeah, Birds of Prey fight scenes are off. I'll have the to go charts. back and see who the unbeat freaking team is. Um, and, and again, and again, it's, it's classic Harley Quinn. It's really, really well done. Um, so yeah, so I, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend Birds of Prey. You know what else had really good, good stunt scenes? Daredevil. They should bring it back. <laughs> Hashtag well, save Daredevil, jackasses. <laughs> well, they, well, they, they, they kind of are. If you, if you saw the teaser. <laughs> the Batman. <laughs> the, the teaser trailer for Batman. God. I'm like, why does it look like Daredevil? Why is I mean, Daredevil trending again? Oh my God, is it good news? No. No. <laughs> So, yes, chat, yes. just so you know, just so you know. <laughs> Love me some Daredevil. <laughs> this man took Daredevil's cancellation extremely hard. Still not happy. Ext yeah. He, right, the, to put it in perspective, the oh, way <laughs> the way I reacted, the way I reacted to Penny Dreadful, that was his reaction times 10 when they when they asked to Daredevil. You got betrayed by a Penny Dreadful. No, we got betrayed by, yes, yes, we got betrayed by Penny Dreadful. Daredevil delivered, but I, I tell I tell you what, it's, and it's okay, left. I'm it's gonna, like right here at this point where they've okay. never gotten this particular villain right, and he was really really good in season yep. three, and yep. now he's about to get his he's about to level up and be the super <clears throat> super badass that everybody's waiting for. So here's my question: What are you more upset about? Hmm. No more Daredevil, or no more Burnfall Punisher? Daredevil, really? Oh, in a second, really? Yeah. See, I really wanted to have, I really wanted to have a Matt Murdock, um, Frank Castle reunion. Oh, but, and, they can, honestly, and that can season, happen at any time because of Daredevil. But, but season two of Daredevil was at its peak whenever the two of them were on screen together. Oh, episode four. That graveyard episode scene. Episode four. That's that the, graveyard that's scene was was just was some of the best some of the best comic book lore ever put on camera. Absolutely. Ever put yep. on camera. Ever put on camera. So Corey just said, "I can deal with messed up. Can't deal with fucked up." Pardon my French. Not you're okay, Corey. You're okay. We're 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 in the mid we're we're in the mid. Where's the line? Because um the other one that that my brother my brother called me is like, 
man, if you ain't seen Midsummer, it uh-uh. it'll make you feel uh-uh. it'll make no. you feel weird. No. My my, and unpleasant. my team my teammate saw Midsummer and, and I said, so How was it? And she just went, I don't know why I put myself through that. <laughs> <laughs> she just came out and said it. I don't know why. I, I sat there several times going, I should leave now. I huh. should leave. I should leave. And she said and she said the thing that made it the most terrifying was it was a horror movie in daylight. There are no shadow scenes. There's, it's all day. It's it's basically um, the original, not the not the Nick Cage remake, but it's Witcher, the original Wicker Wicker Man. Wicker, 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 Man. Wicker Man. Yeah, I knew Wicker you were Man. going there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wicker Man. And, and the thing was, I saw it. I saw it with a room full of Wiccans. <laughs> the original. The original. I watched the original with a room full of Wiccans, and at the end, I I get up to to, to take the uh, VHS tape out. I turn around and look at them, and they're all looking at me like this because they 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 know I'm a. You know, Southern Christian boy. And they all looking at me like this. And I said, if any of you fuckers ever invite me to a barbecue, I'm out. I'm out. Um, spoiler alert. That was, anyway. That was a good That was a good movie. It's like you get the old, like, still stand-up horror movies, like uh, uh, Fulci's Zombie. Oh, God. So good. I'll give it. Uh, no, I, there's, I, a, there's a scene oh. where the zombie's bringing this girl to get her eye poked out on a stick, and it takes a month and a half. <laughs> it's just a slow camera's way too close like you're just like i'll give it i'll give you some i'll, I'll, I'll give you some some good some good movies back in the day because so we got we got the shutter network now we yes, got we got shutter, and we got it because new zealand now has an offering on shutter well actually they had two they have two offerings one of which you have to see called deathgasm it is basically a heavy metal comedy horror movie I may have seen it. Filmed in New Zealand. I may have seen it. And it is fucking amazing. The other one is was more it's this is spinal it is this is spinal tap meets what we do in the shadows. The other one was more interesting, which was what was the other one called? So the other one was called and that's where I'm I think that's where I'm going to. The other one was called the the series is called The Deadlands. The Deadlands. The movie is called Into the Deadlands. And Into the Deadlands is set before the time of white settlers in New Zealand. So it's all Maori actors and the entire movie is done and spoken in Maori. And it is a phenomenal watch. Um, ancient, uh, ancient Maori combat techniques. You actually see them do the haka, but not like you would see it at a rugby game. You actually see the haka applied, hmm. and it is a, it is fucking amazing. Well, the movie did so well for being this little indie movie out of New Zealand that AMC and um, and uh, TVNZ got together and said, "Okay, well, we're going to make a series." And they said, but it's going to have to be in English. Yes. And they were like, are we going to reach our audience? AMC said, yes. They said, then we'll then we'll do it in English. And the series is called The Deadlands. And um, the, to, to quote to quote the characters in the uh, in, in, in the show, someone has broken the world. And it almost sounds like I'm speaking Belter, but it's like, it's like, it says someone has broken the world, and you have to fix it, and <laughs> then we will restore your honor, and then you can join us. And I was like, oh my God, this is an amazing this is an amazing series. And you know you're seeing like like the um, combat with Batu. It's 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 graphic. It is graphic as fuck. Did, but, what, did what we do in the shadows get renewed? Uh, yeah, it did. Yeah, it's coming back for season two. What about Happy? Um, don't know about Happy, but going back to so going back to Shutter. So we have I Shutter. <laughs> we were watching. Oh, Happy is great. So we were watching. We were watching the. Uh, we, we we'd finished Deadlands, and Pip was just idly flipping through Deadlands. I was sorry, flipping through Shutter, and she came across the John Carpenter section. And one of the movies that they had in there, and we hadn't seen in years, but we popped out and watched it anyway, Escape from New York. Yes. That, is, that movie still, even though it's got the... The technology it, it, does not hold up. Oh, my God. Well, neither the fact that the Twin Towers are still standing. Well, yeah, but that's... You can't, but, you can't control that. But, I mean, yeah. Uh, I Ernest remember, Borgnine. Ernest Borgnine. Um, Harry Dean Stanton. Yep. Uh, Adrian Barbeau. Yep. And her Barbeau's. Isaac Hayes. I, you're the Duke, A number one. You're the Duke, <laughs> yeah. A number one. And Donald Pleasance is the president of the United States, and Kurt Russell. Is John Patrick Kurt... Kelly in that? No, no, no. That 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 predates him, I think. Okay. But uh, great movie, Escape from New York. It's still, even though the technology is dicey as fuck. <laughs> oh, it's Commodore sixty four. But it's... you know what does hold up is the John Carpenter like total eighty soundtracks. Oh. He, he, hey, how, you know, I'm a musician. I don't need to. I don't need to hire hire a band. I've got a Casio keyboard. I got a Casio <laughs> keyboard. And hey, what what will be my theme for the thing? Boom, 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 
boom, boom. That's the entire theme. And then some chords. Adrian and Barbo. It. Oh yeah. Yeah. Quintessential actress. Anyway, all right. I think we're I think we're ready to uh, right. get back into the show. All right. Do you want to check? She was excellent in, in Creep Show. And uh Swamp Thing. Swamp. Well, she's better in Creep Show than Swamp yeah. Thing. Uh just tell it to call you Billy. That's right. <laughs> Are we gonna have an excellent second half of the show? What's the what's the what's the ball say? As I see it. Yes. Hey, well then, let's get the let's get to it, all right? All right. Okay, we are going. We're not getting derailed by Adrian Barbobot. <laughs> but we're thinking about it. We already did. All right. George Papard, Ted Danza. Are we all set? Here Ted. we go. In three, two. And we are back with the second half of Happy Hour from the Tower. I'm T. I'm Nick. I'm Brandon. And I'm Adrian. Okay, let's get into it. Father's Day, Bedelia, <laughs> and I want my cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, if you want to understand that, you're gonna have to go back and check out the VOD. And uh, this is the first movie I ever saw on VHS. Seriously, Creepshow? Yes. Wow. Yeah. First movie I ever saw on, on VHS, Superman the movie. Oh. But I'd already seen it in theaters. But just to be able to like pause it and slow-mo stuff that was fun anyway okay we're, we're off track already let's get back to those copious notes about the Imperian foundation nick so uh lead us so does anybody else okay so here's what i wanted to ask about the Imperian foundation and i did not ask you guys this before the show or at the break here it comes because i need an honest reaction brandon you take the lead okay are you ready <laughs> sure and chat i want to answer from you guys too listen up chat here we go is this the most meh you have felt about Destiny 2. Wow. Yes. You haven't logged in this week. Mm-hmm. Despite wow. the fact that the Flashpoint's on Titan. There's stuff to do. There's and always it's, stuff to do. We've hit the season lull. Yeah. We're we're mm-hmm. the, yeah. Mar- Marv also says yes. Yeah. It's um, the, every season there's the lull. Usually it's when the content runs out. Oh, even, even with, with the, the content, content still there right, right now, it's, it's a lull. lull. Read, Read the, the question, question again. again. Is this, is this the most meh you felt about Destiny 2? No. Uh, okay, so when was the last time you felt this way? Curse of Osiris. Curse really? of Osiris. I I um I would uh, I would say I, I'm, we I'm, all, we I'm, also would have taken Season of Gambit. <laughs> um, <laughs> of, that was uh, hey, I like Season of the Drifter. Now, now I enjoyed Season. Of, I, I enjoyed Joker's Wild. Joker's Wild. Thank I, you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, I saw. You I have saw. my back. Yeah, yeah, I got your back, Dredgen. I got your back. <laughs> Reckoner. Reckoner. So my my Reckoner. apologies. Yes. Reckoning. Re- Reckoning. Reckoner. One Reckoner. of only eighteen thousand on, on the you planet. Are. Yeah. Uh, I it was fifteen. Man. Actually, Marv 18. says in chat, Guardians going to be disappointed. A lot of Guardians going to be disappointed. Dumping in fract lines only to get dunked on trials in in trials and with no news on anti cheat. I'm concerned. <laughs> and that's that that is a good thing because um, I remember Brandon was surprised. When he saw that I still had, and this is for sentimental value, I still had tokens yeah. from Trials. and <clears throat> From Trials of the Nine. From Trials of the Nine. And one of the reasons I, I mean, I, I, I gave Trials of the Nine a run. Yeah. I enjoyed it, but the thing that I couldn't quite figure out was when I, I was on, uh, Munch was taking me in, a uh, friend, friend of the stream, Munchie. Munchie was taking me in, in there, and he was able to tell just in flying in and looking at the different teams, he could say, oh, these guys have got hacks. These guys have got hacks installed. These guys have yeah, pull us out, T. And I'm like, and I he never explained to me how he could tell. Now, as far as how anti-cheating is concerned, I'd like to think that Bungie has got that fixed, and that was why they took, they want to bring back trials, because they're like, hey, we've got this covered. But I don't know. But as far as feeling meh about the season... I felt more met during Curse of Osiris. There are things I still enjoy doing. Um, the fractal line grind is hard, but it is not as hard as as just going into Curse of Osiris and just grinding for the sake of grinding. Oh, for right? the infinite yeah. yeah. forge weapons. For the forge weapon, yeah. I um, and and also Black Armory. Well, no, Black Armory wasn't meh. Black Armory was frustrating because they were fantastic weapons, but it was it the grind felt more tedious. I, uh, the grind here doesn't feel as bad. In fact, I feel like the grind here is making me a better player. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm getting. I'm. I'm brushing off. Uh, I'm brushing off some skills that I had let gone to seed because of things that changed in my life. I feel like this season has been better for me. Um, okay. Marv is going off. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Thing. Anecdotally, Munch is a bit. <laughs> is a bit full of it. He looks at loadouts. Oh, okay. 
Uh, he wouldn't be able to tell unless he looked at their last five games in trials report. Ah, okay. Marv, I would love, I would love to get now. So, Marv in chat, by the way, everybody. Marv's got this thing in. Um, <clears throat> uh, he's running through his, he's running it through his Discord as well as my Discord. Uh, he's got this thing happening called New Light, where he's inviting people that are new to Destiny or people who are uh, skilled in Destiny but want to build on their skills. And Marv has been basically taking them under his wing, and he's been teaching them new skills, new way of approaching things. Um, Marv, if you want to talk more about that in New Light, please do. I would love to share that in a future show. Um, <clears throat> but going back to feeling meh about things, um, I, I've been like I've been enjoying I've been enjoying the I've been enjoying doubles. I've been enjoying some of the grind. I've been enjoying grinding because some of the challenges for the uh, for the fractal line. I I'm in I, I'm I'm still enjoying that more than I did during the lull of Curse of Osiris. But now the way the way uh, Bungie is handling content is different. And that's the other thing. I think it's why we're feeling it now. Is the way they're handling content is different from the way they handled it back in Curse of Osiris days. It's different than when they handled it back in Forsaken. Well, yeah. It's been different the entire time. Right. What I mean is, is that because of the demand of content from other popular games... Now we're getting people cranking out, cranking out uh, content, cranking out content. We're, 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 we, we as a community, whether we are, um, whether we are vocal about it or not, we have been demanding more content. And I think the problem, I feel the problem is, is that we are getting so much content now that everything feels grindy. As I said earlier, I felt like we didn't get a chance to finish all the content on the moon because before the when all that content was introduced, boom, they launched Season of Undying. Okay, but some people did. The elite did. Yes. The elite did. And they're the vocal minority. And and that's that's the thing that that is a little bit bug I mean, that bugs me. Yeah. And, and it people should. Go, people say, "Well, that's cuz you're a casual gamer." I don't feel like I'm a casual gamer. Not uh, really. Um, I don't I don't feel like I'm a casual gamer with Destiny, but I do feel like I do feel like that that they and they're also the ones the vocal minority, they're also the ones that are complaining the hardest when something doesn't go right. Yeah. And that's where I get um that's where I get frustrated because um uh, you know, like the like the the big stink that was raised recently when something got broken again when your when when they upgraded when they when when they when they brought in the new upgrades for crimson days and 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 the other the other stuff for the for the imperian yeah. foundation and of course when 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 the servers were down people were flipping out and i'm sitting there going look bungie's gonna fix this they fix it every time yeah. and if you don't and if there's one thing i would say about game development and i promise i swear to god i'm gonna finish this rant hallelujah I swear to god holy shit Where's the Tylenol? My biggest complaint is that that the way this... I mean, I, I remember gaming when it was two sticks and a ball. And that was considered cutting edge. I remember when you got a game and it was that was it. That was the game. Yep. Now, we are moving in two dimensions. We're not moving in just two dimensions. We're moving in three dimensions. We're interacting with things. and I, I mean, and when you add a new element to a game this complicated it's gonna break because i that's why i got out of website development because if somebody said you know what i want this i want this button to go from oh. this color to this color good gravy that was like moving mountains at one time hmm. and it's and it's it's even more amplified in game development and i think i think that the we're we're, we're reaching a point where we're almost at um we're almost at, um, I'm trying to think of, a maximum capacity for content. I just feel like the content needs to be managed better. And and the desire for, for content needs to be heightened instead of just expecting it. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Bungie, to to its credit, <sighs> did a fantastic job of, of providing a technical write-up on exactly why that issue occurred and, and occurred twice. With the currency currency disappearing, right? Yep. They did a very very good job of explaining what that was and and what the approach is and how they have to dynamically spin up additional servers and you know reset day and all that other stuff. So, um, the, the lesson that they have learned is when they go into the ether and don't communicate whether something's working or not working, it, it that's a, a frustration point for for the community, right? Yeah. So the, they when they over communicate, that's a, that's something that they do very well. Follow up question and now be done with Imperium Foundation. <laughs> 
Would you still be doing this, or would you have hung on as long as you have in the events of this season if it was any other main character in the story arc? If it was a new Ada as opposed to Saint-14? Does the nostalgia factor, was it enough to kind of keep you, uh, to appeal to you to stay longer than if it had been someone we'd never heard of before? I mean, that's what we would have put. We've, we are feeling nostalgia for a character we've never met before. Yeah, but he's an influence. He's a huge yeah. influence on it. And, and, and again, the best thing about this entire season, I don't. I don't care about giving a cookie to Riven. <laughs> toss, toss a coin to your Riven. Uh, Please is, tell me you recorded it. I did. The the fighting alongside Saint Fourteen. Yeah, I would have liked more of that. Yeah, yeah, but that was like that is a like holy cow. Well, well, was, ask uh, Average Joe from Guardians MH what it would have felt like to <laughs> fighting alongside well, Saint Fourteen. You know that brought back memories of. Of in D2. getting in Zavala's bubble, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I wanted more of that. I wanted more of that throughout. I thought we would be fighting alongside Cade in some missions along along. Well, that's because the way they advertised it, they right. were like, right. Oh, no, we have the this, same, this new the technology. You'll get yeah. to fight alongside NPCs, and then it was just the first and last mission. And and Marv is right. The Saint mission feels like ages ago because yeah. of the grind. Yeah. And, and and no, do, and would I still stick with this? It yes. was Marv. It was 113 years ago. <laughs> And, and and again, I would say yes, I would have stuck it out, but not necessarily for the nostalgia factor of Saint Fourteen. It's the nostalgia factor for Destiny. I I just love the game this much, and I love being able to hang out with knuckleheads like Marv and you guys. Oh, but the social the social aspect is different from the from the nostalgia aspect, right? I mean, but, we would st- I would still love playing with you yeah, guys yeah. if it was if Ada was a floating head that created the transform sort of the stupid baby things. head <laughs> yeah shiny floaty <laughs> baby head or and she said this show me what you got <laughs> but which is what ada does now but anyway but yeah. that's beside the point i don't know i'm gonna see her in probably months okay Corey makes me feel a little better start on my father's atari with games like missile command and if waver beat console and pc pitfall ever harry man pitfall harry baby i remember the days of pitfall Hell harry yeah I remember that. I had an Atari 2600. I had an Atari 800 XL. I had a ColecoVision. And I still time, have a ColecoVision. And every time, people go, what the hell is a ColecoVision? Carnival. Like, Look it up. Remember Carnival? Oh, no, the, Don- the no stupid- for, me, for me, it was Donkey Kong and Zaxxon. The stupid controls. Oh, I know you yeah. love Zaxxon. Yeah, I, love I know Zaxxon. you love Zaxxon. Yeah. So, but but I would say that I, I would say that um, because of this grind and because, I guess, of the lull in, 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 the, in the seasonal content, I am now branching out and starting to look at, at other games to play. I am making some time now. To, play, to, to sail the and seven it's going to happen exact. every three or four months right, at this exact is. spot. Of course it is. But it's like, back to that point that you were making, was the the, the every upcoming Destiny trailer yes. gives me, at one point, a stomach drop. What do you mean? Every time I look at a new Destiny trailer for the upcoming t- content, mm-hmm. my stomach drops in excitement for something. Oh, in excitement. Yes. Okay. For this season, it was... Saints it Fist was, coming out of the yeah, freaking of Vex it portal. Was. It's epic, man. Yeah. And I don't think if it wasn't Saint, I would have gotten that. Because oh, it was just. Thank you. That is exactly the question I was asking. Yeah. I appreciate that. It's a great answer. Thank you very much. But that, that. And, and that goes back again to the nostalgia factor about being able to meet that that mysterious titan that we saw the grave of surrounded by all the dead vex i mean that was that was a powerful image yeah that was a great mission state that was and, a great oh, yeah. story line. Yeah. that was so much fun yeah it was but that, but, but, yeah, but they did that again with the with the um, dredge and your right yeah right that whole storyline which was mm-hmm. oh man this is this is like it's got gravity to yeah. it it's got so, uh, other than you know it's been a chick in the basement the whole time. You guys know like, <laughs> hey, what? How did? And she's just making weapons. No yeah. wonder you're making random weapons. How, yeah, you've got a one on your name because you live in basically you're basically the sweeper bot, <laughs> but with a but, 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 but with in a museum, arsenal. Yeah, but with, with an, an arsenal. arsenal. <laughs> with an arsenal. I, I love her voice. I really do love her voice. Uh, but oh yeah. I, I there's still lore. I there's still stuff I haven't touched in the forge. I've done one forge. I've done the first one. I still haven't done the rest of them, because to your point. Okay, am I gonna go do that for the, um, the completionist part of my mindset, right. or am I gonna go back to the moon because it's a horror movie? Yeah, I'm going to the moon. You're, you're like, going is, to the moon. I'm gonna go <laughs> yeah. spend time. The, the fact that the your patrol beacons are phantoms, 
Dude, so great. Like, oh, yeah. That whole design. Shadowkeep knocked it out of the park. Ah, yeah. Shadowkeep, so Shadowkeep knocked it out of the park. It's like Haunted Chinatown right in the middle it's like with the whole with the fortress. It's that whole design. What is that, Wang? What is that? <laughs> what want, is that? I just want my truck back. <laughs> Anyways, so. May the wings of liberty never lose a feather. <laughs> it's all in the reflexes. <laughs> so. Um, Again, you got to watch the VOD. You'll get you'll get why we're on this oh Carpenter my vibe. God, such a good movie. Is it, is it me or is it just hot in here? <laughs> okay. Dude. All right, let's focus. 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 Bring okay. us back. David Lopan style. Okay. Uh, let's move on. If everybody, if, I think we have we have beaten the sparrow to death. Mm, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're good. For your for your Malifor of the day, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. Yep. Um, it's not rocket surgery. It's, it's uh, <laughs> it's not rocket surgery. <laughs> the inverted spire, by the way, is as we call. So if anybody wants to just torture themselves with that nonsense, okay, let's talk about next season. Can we do that? Yeah, everybody on board. Let's go for it. Anything let's go for it. Anybody, anybody else in chat have a, a nostalgia? It, are we good? Everybody's good. I think I think they people, seem yeah. fine. Yeah, they seem they seem good. Okay. They seem good. So the overwhelming uh, rumor is that next season brings back Trials of Osiris, which everybody has been calling for since D1. The launch of the... Yeah. 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 Right. Which means, inevitably, there's a portion of the community that's going to be disappointed, right? <laughs> Marv yep. knows, because he just said the same thing. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Okay, so, just like we had a season completely dedicated to Gambit, what are your thoughts if this season is completely dedicated to PvP? And I know Brandon has an opinion on this. I And Brandon, I do. take the lead, please. I'm, not gonna play it at all maybe even it's, though you are you are an active <laughs> pvp guy you have your komodo I, yeah but it, that doesn't mean i had fun getting it no i understand that the, okay the, the so only it, reason i went for the komodo is because it was required for savior okay and i did not enjoy it at all, right, all so explain this to me because i'm trying to understand i hear people the the, the thing is the thing i don't understand and this may, maybe this is me being old man morris slowly getting twitch back dad. in the game twitch dad <laughs> thanks thanks everybody your old pal twitch dad trying to understand why people say i am not having fun in the crucible but on their streams what are they doing they're playing the crucible so my not question me. is no no, no 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 but that's the, that's the difference if it's totally you said, dedicated you said you're not having fun but you're playing crucible your dad doesn't like uh crucible because it's not fun for him but he doesn't play it so the question I have to you is, is, okay, well then why are you playing Crucible if it's not fun for you? Because it has two little things to get me to that big thing. Okay. Last season, I tried to get Randy's throwing knife. Okay. And fell short by like 40% on Guardians Defeated. Wow. Because it was literally only multi-kills mattered, and I couldn't get multi-kills. Because none of the weapons that people use in Crucible anymore require skill. Okay, and which which weapons are those? Shotguns, okay. fusion rifles, linear fusion rifles, anything with power ammo, uh, most exotics. This is me leaning back and just watching this. Yeah, if, if, and here's no, where if I had the any popcorn, Titan ability, the popcorn emote right now, and, I would be doing it right now. And here is what I have to say about that. If I had feelings, they would be hurt. F you and a horse you rode in on, Brandon, because it does take skill to use a shotgun. It does take skill to use a linear fusion rifle. They are not they are not easy weapons. Not None when of anyone uses them on me. I have Wow. I can maybe count four times I remember being missed by a shotgun or a fusion rifle. Anytime I turn a corner, there's an Aaron Till fusion rifle pointed at me. There's a Dust Rock Blues hunter with freaking invisibility. There's a Titan readying his That's shoulder charge. That's using your skills and the weapons that suit them to get the job done. Yours, I'm sorry, Brandon. I'm going to call you out on this. You sound like a whiny little bitch. I am a whiny little bitch. <laughs> because <laughs> I have played Crucible recently. Go fast. What? When was that? Wow. Warmind. What was the? What, yeah, what was, was the Warmind. very first like? It was Warmind. The it was the is it was it the very first linear fusion rifle that was so friggin' OP in Crucible that everybody friggin' used it. Was it Arbalest? I don't know. No, no, like way back. It might even no, have been D one. No. Like the, the you was... just hear it all the way across the map and you're like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> well, there's right? Queen Breaker mm, from D one. I thought it was Dust Rock Blues. People getting shot Shotgun. Now. Okay, was that, that what you were talking about? Shotgun? No, 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 no. This was this was like literally on the other end of the map. You would just hear it and you go, I'm fried. And I don't even it was was it a mercury weapon? Was it a um trace rifle? Yeah. 
Yeah. Cold Heart or Prometheus Lens. It was Prometheus Lens. Yeah. Do you guys remember that? Like, oh, yeah. That oh, period oh, of time no. where, like, what you, I remember, you would go, you'd, two seconds in, you'd be like, what is, ugh. But what I remember about <laughs> no, what I remember about Prometheus Lens is when everybody got one, and then you know the Crucible became laser tag. It was laser tag, which was fun as hell. Yeah. But my uh, but, no, but, okay, I no, wasn't. <laughs> here, here's just hear me out on this because I had a rant on this in a recent stream. Mm-hmm. My problem, and I know I know Marv uh, probably caught the tail end of of, of that uh, of that that rant as well. My problem when I hear people complain about now are there are there hack guns out there? Absolutely, I think the Jotun. Yeah. Is, a ha- is a is a hack gun. That's not because I kept I keep getting getting uh, wasted by it. I it, it, it's one of those things where it's when it, it's it, it takes zero skill. That's you correct. point at it and boom. Lord of Wolves, same thing. Mm-hmm. Lord of Wolves, zero skills. But shotguns, I have seen people with shotguns that the people that that, that wax me with a shotgun in 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 Crucible, they're they're sliding shoot. They're coming around corners, and they're you know they're not they're it, there's a difference. Between I didn't say they're no skill weapons. I said they're constantly used. Well, yeah. I mean, I might have said it, but what I meant is that they're constantly <laughs> used. I genuinely every match I play, there's at least four people out of the six with a insta shot, like one shot weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's a me, I turn the corner and I get headshotted by a freaking revoker or something. That I, I can't play the crucible without dying every time I turn a corner and it might be a skill based matchmaking thing because I started playing back when D- D2 first launched and right. I was like constant right. and it yeah. was fun at the time yeah. but it's also since Go Fast and since Forsaken gave all the new subclasses it's been you hit 6 minutes left or like f- 4 minutes in or whatever everybody has a super yeah. and by the time you. the last one is used yeah. they're it's the cycle again. But the reason why, but the reason why was because people were complaining it took too long to get yeah, the supers. But, but now they're getting their supers back, and this is the, this is the vicious circle. And I'm not saying this to, to, to work you up. I'm, it's fun, but it's, it's but, but, but but I mean the 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 thing that the thing that I get uptight is, the community says something like, it's taking because I remember that argument. I remember that argument. I said it's taking too long to get our supers back. We need to get our supers back faster. So then Bungie's like, okay, we'll fix it. So they go on ahead, and then everybody gets. Now, what is the community? The community is complaining. It's too easy for people to get their supers back. And of course, Bungie's in the corner, like, fuck. You know, I mean, you. you <laughs> but there, the answer is very easy. It, look at just go to your and, end. and Marv is correct. Yeah, he no. basically says it's always guardians been the case. gravitate to the fastest kill weapons. It's always been the case, and it's true. Now, I will say, I find I don't normally play the meta when I go into Crucible. Mar would say it's because I'm an idiot. I yeah. say it's because, I, and you would say it's because I'm an idiot. I say it's because I'm not comfortable with the meta weapons. I know that's fair. The, f- the fix is easy, uh, other than things that are broken, like the, the infinite dawn blade supers. Right? Yeah. Says the guy who doesn't play Crucible. No, I can't wait to hear this. Okay, <laughs> if you go into the director, yeah. and you go to the Crucible, how many different things are there? Quite a few. There's a ton. Seven so you or make eight. you make the. You make a variation of whatever, like in this mode in mayhem, you get your super every minute, and in control, it's a six minute, thing. like whatever. Like there's there's enough different gameplay modes that you can no, you can hit yeah. all those I buttons. Could, I could see that, and you should, and, and they and do then, that, and then in private matches, you make all of that you, something you, you can yeah, choose. Yeah. Exactly. You Mario Kart it, right? Right. Yeah. But okay. My, look, so, if next season is all about PvP, I'm gonna level the crap out of my Neverwinter character. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So a, a problem with Marv's argument is every season there's a new slew of weapons to choose from. Yeah. So back when D2 first launched, there were maybe two insta-kill weapons. Mm-hmm. Like, that I can remember. It was like one of the linear fusions and shotguns weren't even that good. So, plus the weapon update that they had to do for Forsaken. You can't argue that Guardians always gravitating to the fast time to kill weapons has always been the problem because it's elevated over time and at this point i see weapons that i don't even recognize that i'm being killed by yeah yeah but to me that and to me that's skill that equates to me as skill because that's because instead of using the meta instead of using constantly using um yotin uh yotin instead of constantly using all that like like i'm going in with well because because i'm currently going with a komodo i'm going in with line in the sand I don't see a lot of people using line in the sand. That's a and power weapon. I, I'm using it as an example. <laughs> but, all right, look, then let's go back to Arbalest. Okay, Arbalest. Oh, that was the meta at the beginning. It was the, the meta season. at the beginning. I walked into Crucible and it was a, yeah. another laser light show. I'm going okay. in, but I'm only playing with the Sturm and the Drang. That's, <laughs> that's my role. <laughs> there you go. It's my role. 
All right. Then or, let, then or, let, me, let me pull another one out. Let me pull another one out. I want a crucible mode where everybody can only use the rank. Uh, oh my god i've done that i've oh, done the that greatest whole, thing. oh my god i was like the first time i ever had the rat king with with a team that we all had oh, rat, kings, rat oh, kings i was like jesus christ i mean it was a, what what a rush that was so cool but okay so so let's but, but let's let's talk about then i, I love the trust. that kind of dynamic okay the trust okay the trust not truth trust the hand cannon the hand cannon trust yeah that thing is that if i'm going into crucible i'm taking in the trust and and to me, you know, people are like, well, that's not the meta. It's like, no, it's not the meta. It's a good effing hand cannon. It's a, it. I trust it. I mean, it's in the name, and I love it. And it and it works for me. It was the same thing when Mar Marv and I actually talked about bows in in the in the Crucible, and he's like, he's like, they they don't work. And I'm like, I beg to differ. I've had really good certain luck. Certain maps they work. Certain maps they work. If you treat the bow like a sniper, and and you know and somebody was doing that today in the. Uh on Titan, the, uh, the with the two witches. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what they were doing. Just and bow to, hunting the witches. And <laughs> to Perfect. me, to to me, I'd like you know when I go in, I'm having a good time with the weapons. I'm now, now granted, it could be different in that, um, and I'm not saying this to butter you up. I'm saying this because this is the way I've always thought about you. I'm I've reached my you, max, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are you are a murder hobbit. You are a murder hobbit, both in both in game and in real life. You are a murder hobbit. It's not and a I, murder I, hobbit in real life. And I and I and I respect that. And I and I've always I'm a murder that. tree in real life. There you go. And and I, I and I I for me I st I was traumatized the first time I went to the Crucible because I never experienced anything like that before. And the fact that I I go into the Crucible going okay I am probably going to die. That's fine. I not, accept not that. Thing. But I'm going. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna have some fun with my All friends. All you do is die. And I'm, no, I'm gonna go do strikes. Like you guys go crucible it up, have fun. I'm gonna go strikes. And yet, and you see now, this is what he says. What did I say in conclusion? Though, yeah, Trinity Ghoul garbage as it has long draw time, lightweight bows work well. Yes, you did say that, Marv. That doesn't change the fact that I've had really good luck with the Trinity Ghoul in Crucible. Maybe I'm more comfortable with a weapon than you are. I don't know. But to me, that's what I look for in weapons. I don't look for the meta. I look for what makes me comfortable. Um, I'm more comfortable with the truth than I am with Sunshot. I know people rave and they, they swear by the Sunshot. But for me, it's truth. When it comes to... Um, it's uh, trust. Trust. Yeah, sorry. Truth, trust. Truth trust. is the rocket trust. launcher. Yeah, truth is the rocket launcher. When it comes to power weapons... Yeah, it's transit. You had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> hammerhead. I love me. A, I, love his, awesome. I love me some Hammerhead. Yep. Oh, Hammerhead has carried me to a few things. For yes. Freaking Gambit. Not the Bright Tech um, Osprey? I know you love that. <laughs> okay. I think we I'm think already butted up for Crucible, man. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do now. But I no, do. I'll go in there and fight you, but uh, just so I could get the Shepard. But I, but I pre <laughs> and, and as far as shotguns in, in the Crucible, I'm going to always lean on my perfect paradox. Mm hmm. Because to me, that's a. Yeah, I'm going to lean on my 24 perfect paradoxes that are in my vault. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. I, but now, but now that I now that I've heard it, I respectfully I respectfully say I understand your opinion. I do, and I understand where you're coming. No, I under, I understand it now. I I have been befuddled by the fact when I hear people complain about the Crucible, but they're playing the Crucible. I'm like, if you don't like it that much, why are you playing it? Now I understand. I have a better. Uh, excuse me. Let me rephrase. Because there's I have still a better a, understanding. there's a grind that's. 99% PVE stuff that I can just do on my own or like 90% PVE right. stuff I can do on my own 5% what I have to get a team for and then 5% crucible right but and it's I, you know it is so it's the same it, it's strange terrain all over again which is. is look I'm gonna do this because it's attached to something close that, it's attached yeah. to something that I need to get as a benchmark exactly and then I'm not going back that's correct and, and that's and and Understand. you see, and may maybe it's maybe it's that that stubborn old man in me. I I actually am trying to get over my fear of uh, comp. That's uh, fair. I mean, I I want to get over it. I want to get that over it. I had hard man. I know it is. I the I mean, I got offered a shortcut with shop with uh with, with Chavez. Mm -hmm. I got I got a, a shortcut with Chavez. We had a ridiculously fun time, and then I got ridiculed for it later in my in in my circles. And I feel I feel like okay, then you know what. If they want me to step up, I'm stepping up. I'm going to get over that fear of, the, uh, of, of comp. Am I going to like it? Probably not. No. I'm probably going to be like starting all over again. And some people don't like starting over again. I'm okay with it. Because if I want to be a better player, that's what I have to do. Um, I still next. have one big point, honestly. Yeah. Go for it. I think my main problem is there's a subconscious part of me that thinks every kill you get should be because you outskilled or had some sort of reason to 
kill the other player that wasn't just, oh, this weapon kills in one shot. Or I have infinite supers. Yes. Yeah. So I Pe- people th- are going to use that. Like, no, I know. There are people who are going to take the easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, but if there's if somebody finds out, oh yeah, you're going to get you're, you're going right. to get a, a, an instant redo with your uh, with, with with your super, they're going to take advantage. Yeah, no, if exactly. you stand on this part of the map, you can kill the boss without actually being ever in danger. Like people are going to take and, the and, cheese you know, route. And, that, yeah. and to me, that's that is the big that is the biggest splitting hair. I got ridiculed for the stuff that I did that night with Chavez, mm. and yet. When when I say, well, what about the thing you you, you did with when you uh, when you um, uh, took advantage of the exploit? Oh well, that's different. I'm like, no, it's not. It's, not it's the same it's damn the thing. Same thing. Yeah. It's the same damn thing. Right. But yeah. But, I, oh, I, but because but because I found a different kind of cheese <laughs> that you couldn't get. Oh no no now I'm now I'm a bad player. But you you oh yeah you get your super back. Oh that's you know that was a hiccup. If Bungie fixes it, Bungie fixes it. That's the b- biggest BS argument out there but you know what i'm still going to push myself and i'm going to challenge myself and Good. i'm going to get over that yeah so, I, so that, that's what i always run hand cannons i always run snipers and if i miss i die doesn't matter what i miss with if i get a body shot with the sniper i get one shot by them if i get a two shot headshot like with my with my hand cannons then i get one shot with whatever they're using which i think honestly is why i'm gravitating towards games like apex because they every gun there has some sort of there's a th- a line that they're all balanced on somehow that there's a a fair playing field that you have to have some sort of I skill. always run hand cannons if I miss I die are you reading my diary <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just a I, I, I destiny has that that line with there's so many weapons to choose from it, there's weapon saturation for that sure like in the game 65% right now. Right. of them are insta kill I think it's funny because one of the things I was reading, and again, I don't always agree with the guy, but Paul Tassie asked, why isn't there just a, a button you could check that says automatically dismantle blues? Honestly. Like as soon as you get them, like, yeah. is, are any of us ever going to use them? No. But that's the thing. Like, they, legendary and exotic are not, they're the standard. Yeah. Yeah. At so, this point. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. It's, it's like, uh, you know, the Avengers movies where now we've, we've ramped up. We're saving the universe. We're fighting Thanos. Now what? Now what? Yeah. How do you go back? How do you strip it all? And we're going to find out. We're going to find out. Yeah. That, 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 that's for a, Entirely different podcast. Yes, it is. Okay, so uh, how are we wrapping this up? What's um... so two real quick things on Woo! the next season? That was, that was some, we haven't we haven't ranted like that in a long time. That felt good. You know, last time I think I ranted like that was when I need a referee. When we got a raid lair instead of like an actual vex raid <laughs> for Curse of Osiris like two years ago. Uh, I remember that. I remember that. Good times. Yeah, yeah, but they made up for it with that awesome public event. <laughs> All right, and Corey, Corey just says, he, and this is the thing, Corey's right. He plays to relax after my nine to five. For that reason, I play for fun and work with builds that allow me to better achieve that goal. Corey, that's why I don't PvP, and it's why I don't do jump puzzles. I don't play the game enough. Yeah, but he's saying to, he does. I know, play no, no, no. PvP but I don't play the game enough to invest time in things that I don't enjoy. It's it is entertainment. I, I don't need it to build another skill set. I it's for me to have social time with my family, and my friends, and to have fun. And and I don't feel that achieving infamy is not going to make yeah. a difference in my, it's, it's not something that I'm like yeah when I talk to my grandkids what, <laughs> what, what did you do? Ah, I spent hours and hours grinding on missing Super Mario puzzles and <laughs> trying to kill a wish dragon you know, <laughs> like, you know what man I'm good with the stuff I do and if it's stupid then you know that's why I like playing a titan because we, we eat crayons okay um, <laughs> so two things coming in the next season whatever it may be called <clears throat> were they <clears throat> We can say that. Swords? Swords. Changes to swords? Swords. We're going to get sword energy as yeah, opposed are. to using ammo. Yeah. Uh, so the way it's going to work, the sword, when you're using it, will overtake your melee slot when you have the sword armed. Guarding uses the sword energy instead of ammo, though uh, the stronghold will still uh, have a uh, specific Titan-specific experience, just so you know. Uh, there are light attacks, which are no longer the slash, 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 slash. Slash, slash, slash. So your light attacks are no longer triplets. They're just an infinite. They're, just they're infinite quarter notes. Yes, infinite quarter notes. Infinite quarter notes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, and then your heavy attacks are, they will be stronger when you have full sword energy. And there is uh, a shield bypass component, which means a portion of sword attacks can partially bypass elemental shields. Huh. I'm looking forward to that because I, I, w- I, I, sh- I just love working with swords. I want to see what World Line Zero does now. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want a crossbow. I want there to be a crossbow. There needs to be a crossbow. Yes. Uh, and, then, cool. and then the that other cool. change is armor elements. 
Yes. So your elemental affinity uh, can be changed to cost an upgrade module plus uh, whatever the resources are associated with that. Yep. Um, and the seasonal mods will be able to use mods from every season. Every season. Yes. Or as it says on the thing from, like, for instance, if you have a dawn mod, you can also use from undying and from redacted. Yeah. Right. Or, or, or if uh, I think T will understand this, transcendent blessing mods. Yeah. I, those are counted as um, outlaw mods. Oh. So I think those yeah. will also be able to be applied to any oh, that new armor. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. That would be real. That would, that would be real nice. Looking All right, to everybody. It. Yeah. We, uh, we, we, uh, we, we've got, we've got to go on ahead. We got to wrap up because, uh, woo, we had, uh, we, we had some spirited conversation there. Um, I guess what happens when you go PvP uh, in in your own co- podcast? But after, hey, everybody. after you've been grinding for, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's very true. So, chat, thank you very much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate each and every one of you being here. Uh, remember, you can find us uh, outside of the uh, outside of the Twitch stream at happyhourfromthetower.com. That's where you can subscribe. That's where you can find us on iTunes, on Google Play, on Stitcher, and now on Spotify. Uh, you can also reach out to us at podcast at happyhourfromthetower.com. Or if you want to uh, go on ahead and just drop us some voicemail, you can uh, call us at 703-791-1701. You can also use WhatsApp, same number, and uh, drop us a voicemail. We will play it on the show. We would love to hear your thoughts, and we'd love to get your, um, your opinions on things. Either coming up, speculations, whatever, we want to hear from you. So, again, we really appreciate you all being here. Um, we this, will be back in a couple of weeks. Is yes. this podcast protected? This podcast, is, thank you for reminding me. This <laughs> podcast is protected by a non commercial, no derivative of share like the United States. 3.0 license. You can find more about that license at creativecommons.org. So, on behalf of Nick, on behalf of Brandon, and on behalf of fire teams everywhere, eyes up, Guardian. Time, time to, to give up, up the ghost. ghost. The, the first, first round, it's on us. us. So this one's actually DVI, not HDMI. Th- uh, this one right here. Yeah, so you could you could just do a one 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 for one swap there if you wanted to do that first. Okay, well you know how, however uh, uh, just so you all know, uh, Nick uh, Nick brought me a uh, monitor and I have a monitor. That big I, fat I, Dell that. Big is, fat Dell. As opposed to actually, wait a minute, I forgot we got video on this. I can show you. Hold on. Why? You want to see my big fat Dell? Excuse me while I whip this out. Title of your sex tape. <laughs> Big Fat Dell was my nickname in high school. Yeah, Big Fat (laughs) Dell. I dated her. (laughs) (laughs) That thing's been spinning on your left uh, monitor over there for a long time. Yeah. What thing's been spinning on my monitor for a long time? Oh, that? Oh, yeah. But I think we had a lot of Ooh, a lot man. Of, that was a, a lot of chat going on. Man, I thought you guys were gonna fight. All of it was. I, I was. I'm, I was I'm ready. For, I was ready for Brandon to like jump, <laughs> like like do a do. No, a, I can keep my cool when it comes to you for the most part. But when it comes to Marv giving me crap, <laughs> <laughs> does Marv, he have any leftover from? Because he gives T all the shit. He does. All he, the look, shit. every time Marv, is Marv, like, okay, I, I will fist stri- fight you and I will lose. <laughs> That's a promise. Um. But you know what? Those type, those types of, those types of conversations, those are, those are fun. Hmm. I, lo- I, lo- I love mixing it up like. If you that. really do want to replace this monitor, I can stick a fist <laughs> right through it, dude. <laughs> most people do, Brandon. <laughs> most people do, Brandon. It's okay. Yeah, but, but I don't. Nah, we love, we love our Marv. I don't, not, we love our Marv. I so love the last Marv. time I saw you like that angry was in the one act play. Yeah, like dude, I <laughs> forgot like, about that, that. That scared the shit out of me. When you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding, like I'm like that's my son. Like I've never seen that out of him. 
I've seen. It's always fun. It's always fun when you can when you can shock. I like to act. Well, well, yeah, mean, whenever you do acting and you, and you actually shock your you shock your loved ones, but like, well, where the hell did that come from? I saw my progeny. Like, yeah, it is. It's, it's just just yeah. a side you didn't know existed, baby. You were the heel. Like we had this guy. I was the heel. Like, he yeah. Was, like, like they did it really serious, and then the next two were funny as shit, and everybody else was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I wanted to take another one of those. I mean that, that that's the that's the tricky thing about about evenings of one acts. It's like it's like okay, how do we do we want do we want to just yeah it was serious punch? funny funny serious funny yeah, funny yeah that yeah that's exactly what it was yeah. you yeah. always want to you kind of want to end on a, on an up note with uh with with an evening of one yeah, yeah, yeah. funny yeah. god man your your classmates the, the <laughs> oh, I know were, oh we were in stitches that's a talented school man yeah that's a talented effort none school. of them uh had to play a gay guy and offend a family to make them sit on their hands instead of giving a standing ovation. <laughs> oh shit. At that school? At that school it'd be it'd be like, eh, yeah, cool. They're all bi, are you Fantastic. kidding me? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. We literally wrote in a gay part to Mamma Mia, didn't we? Or was that Oh the, yeah, 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 totally did. And and so, uh, and so the chat, whole speech and clue. Yeah. So let me go ahead and let me let me back up a little bit. So uh hey, so chat. What, what they're talking about is uh there was a play I did uh back in the nineteen nineties. Um in Richmond, where How's uh, it going with this? Uh, I'm I'm I'm, exp- I'm explaining the I'm giving context for the for the thing about sitting sitting he on the hands. He played a oh. homosexual. I played a uh. homosexual. Ah, uh. uh, and it, I know I know clutching the pearls. Oh, Mr. Graham. Anyway, so um, but what happened was was that there was a there was this one night performance where um, ba- basically the just so you know the one act opened with me having a love scene with this other with this other other guy, and. It wasn't a love scene. It was a post love scene. They were, they were lying in bed together, right? We were this... lying in bed together, and I actually kissed the guy. Yeah, I did kiss the guy. Oh, but geez. here's the thing: that happens. Don't tell Pip. I, I know. Uh, here's no, the Pip is not a beard. Here was the no Pip you is don't not know a beard. That. But here was the I but here was the thing that was that was uh, that, that was funny was that so as I was as I was explaining on stream, um, the audience was like, "Here's the stage. The audience the audience is, is sitting here, and there was a family sitting right like eye level with us on the stage, and they audibly gasped." You just heard this, oh! and um, at the end of the show, it's a standing ovation. I mean, people people are giving a standing ovation, except for this one fucking family. <laughs> they were literally sitting on, they were truly right. sitting on their hands and just glaring at us. And uh, we were a cast of five. We got backstage and we were living. We were like, we were like, fuck those people. And we were, we were just dropping F-bombs left and right. And the director was like, yeah, channel that. We're going to need it tomorrow. You know, and I was like, oh, he was super they method. Did. They he had to, they method. had to cover the eyes of poor Connor and Mary Beth. They were very offended. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> and and but the thing was, okay, but, that's but, here's, great. but here's the funny thing. <laughs> but here's the funny here's the funnier thing that happened in 1990. Now, if you would, if I, if I could go back in time, I've been gay since. Yeah, I know. If I, if I, if I, if I've been big, yeah, uh, I'm gay from Marv, That's for sure. Mm. But if I, but if I travel back in time to 1990, big and I said exactly, bada bing. Anyway, so. If I traveled back in time and said to my 1990 self, "Hey T, I know that I know that family pissed you off, but don't worry. In in 2020, the the town the super conservative town you're eventually going to move into, they're going to have uh, America's first uh, trans uh, representative. representative who's going to get reelected. Yep. Um, you're going to have sweeping gay rights legislation pass. Correct." And you know that girl that you had a crush on back in uh, back in high school? Yeah, she's gonna be a a a, a, a mind boggled conservative gun toting nitwit, and she is gonna be losing her mind, and she's going to run for governor, and chances are she's gonna lose. I thought you were gonna say she's a male. I was going to do it. No, she's no. a dude. No. I mean, uh, uh, awkward. Never, Marv. Never. Remember, remember, I'm your potato, and you're gonna make me into the finest vodka. Anyway, so going back to. Dad, can we go? <laughs> Did we get a like? Uh, it, it it's been around as long as the hold it closer, tiny dancer. A lo- as long as the question like is Decker human or a replicant? Did, is are, are you or Marv the little spoon? Did we determine? <laughs> Mar- Mar- Marv is no. Marv is the little spoon. I'm the big spoon. Phil Rossi's the ladle. All right, we we can go. <laughs> <laughs> I love Phil Rossi. It's we all love spirit Phil animal. Rossi. Yeah, I know, man. Come on, spirit animal. So, um, but that that was in context of what we were talking about. I mean, uh, honestly, that 1990s family would lose their fucking minds over your high school. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> there was a whole single. What was the second one? It was like all about a gay marriage, wasn't it? The second one. Yeah. Not the second. Because it was the, it was the for, bedtime story. Just so you- 
Oh yeah, because the yeah. husband's gay. Yeah, that's right. I, I forgot <laughs> all about. It's a it's a fairy tale. This guy's telling uh, the storyteller. He's telling the audience. The audience is supposed to be the kid going to bed, and he's trying to tell about this fairy tale wedding, and it goes so awkward. It's like <laughs> the husband winds up I being bet. gay. The the what they they didn't get married in paradise. It was it was a drive through in Vegas. Like, yeah, all and it just con- gets worse and worse. And worse. Was this an audience participation thing? Or was this the just that script? one was that one was? Oh yeah, that one. And there was because there's a there's it an was by game. choice. Like the the director could pick. Yeah, if they wanted it to be that way. Because the because the um there was a there's an improv game I used to do called uh, plot twist. Oh. And what happens is that you you got this um you basically oh. do this little improv thing where you're starting to tell a tale and everything right, and then you go you you, you blow a whistle you just say you scream out plot twist. And uh, then, then the the referee. Then this was comedy sports, so it's basically two teams that do competitive improv. Sure. Uh-huh. And Super art fight. The the the, the, yeah. the the referee goes to the audience and they say, um, "Give me give me a political figure." And someone says Lindsey Graham. And then you go, "Okay, you got to work Lindsey Graham in the story." And that's when they go. And then suddenly the closet opened and Lindsey Graham came out. <laughs> Nobody was shocked. You know stuff like that. You, know, you 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 run with ideas like that. You know and and. Um, and and, uh, and oh, also more context for for chat. Just if you're curious, um, both B and uh, and Sunny upstairs. They perform. They 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 go to a uh, the, performing the arts high school. Performing yeah. arts high school. Um, B is doing music. Uh, and I'm he, doing everything. You're doing a lot. <laughs> and it's not by choice. Sunny's doing creative writing. Yep. She, Sunny's doing creative. Brandon writing. is doing. He's 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 his all main things. his main jam his main jam is music. Yep. Um. But now he's starting to get bit by the theater bug. Good I walked into the choir room, and they were like, you want to be part of this big production of Sweeney Todd? Did they pull you into the new one yet? No. no. I don't think I will be. Are you sure? Yes, because my teacher was like, my, the choir director hey, specifically Nick, said that won't Nick, happen again. Nick, okay. Nick, just give it one day more. I, I another day, another destiny. <laughs> so I know why he's not in the next one, but we'll talk about that. All later. right, another time. Yes. We but can do um, it now. but but you see, but the thing is, here's the thing, Brent. Here's well, the thing, somebody Brent, who's always singing. If you yeah. if if you if you do the if you do the music, and you do the and you do the theater, next up. Got to get you some tap shoes, boy. Got to get you to dance because then you become the triple threat, yo. And then you I'm are not unstoppable. Doing tap. You can. You have, have to. Do, dude, you no. Tap is so much fucking fun. It is so much fucking fun. And chicks dig it. Chicks dig tap dancers. They do. Fred Astaire, man. Come on, Gene Kelly. Gene Kelly was a beautiful man. I'd ship that shit. How about Come on, a, how man. about on a Tempur-Pedic bed? Would you, <laughs> would you have dance on a Tempur-Pedic bed? <laughs> dance so loud, you wake the dead. <laughs> Again, have again, you watched chat. Mr. Music yet? The, Not yet. The John no. Mulaney. No, I haven't seen it. It is. We're gonna watch it before we leave. You are gonna lose your mind. It is. Oh my god! It's just. It's the greatest. It thing. is. It is the funniest thing of all 2019. <laughs> Welcome to the post show chat. It has nothing to do with Destiny. It's just three knuckleheads hanging out, and eventually we might bring it back to Destiny if someone asks us a question in chat. But that's okay. Fractaline. Fractaline. Anyway. Fractaline. Fractaline. Charthraxis of Osiris. Of Osiris. Of Osiris. Of Osiris. Yeah, man. Enough with Osiris. Um, <laughs> Joyride of Osiris. <sighs> From that one you went stream. There. I you know. went there, man. You went there. Has you anybody... There. You set me up. <laughs> what? It, so if you go in a game now, what do you do? Like, what's your thing? Let's say it's Tuesday. Boom. Reset. What are you going to do? I usually I usually knock out the Flashpoint first. But then I also... But then I, I, I pick... Why? Up the, uh, it happened. Yeah, have but it. you don't have any reason to use the gear. I know. I was doing it today to get it done because it, uh, it's also counts Most, plan uh, XP yeah. too, right? That's fair, yeah. but legendary, like also legendary shards, um, XP. Yeah, three. Just to just to <laughs> just to level up. Uh, I also do the fractal. They're not I, hard. It's yeah, Titan. And um, the fallen are bringing in their <laughs> armory again. again. <laughs> and you know, and I, I just I and I and oh, uh, Marv Marv says banner. He basically That's crucible, banner. buddy. Yeah, you and, lost and me. Crucible. Um, Banner's next week. Banner is next week. Banner is next week. And I mean, I... Um, Iron, not Bruce. Uh, I... Uh, <laughs> dick move, Banner. Um, <laughs> but I I mean, that's what... that I, I start with that. I also do the fractal line stuff and go, okay, what do I need to do? And then I go, all right. I look at the, I look at the different um, bounties and I go, okay, what is the most efficient way? What can I do to knock out this in, in the fastest way possible? Oh, yeah. When, when they line up perfectly where they're like... Zavala and Saint and somebody else are like, 
15 finishers. <laughs> awesome. That's great. That's going to finish three things. Yeah. Right. Still. The one thing I wish Quite I literally. did, the, the one yes. thing I wish I did more of, and, I, and it really is kind of me finishers. being apprehensive. We should have 100 finishers. That I'm apprehensive That was about my doing. nickname in high school. I, there you go. I do. Title your sex tape. I don't do, um, I don't do strikes as often. I don't do the I don't do the night yeah, calls. Yeah, because there's no new ones. I do strikes no, just all the time. Yeah, I like know. there's no, triumphs. I like doing strikes sure. if it's the three of us. I like yeah. doing strikes if I know the fire team. I don't like being match made into a strike. Yeah, it's a it's it's a weird it's a weird thing because yeah. I don't mind being uh, match made in uh, in Crucible because it's six people. Yeah. But when it's three people, I'm like, eh, you know, it's a little personal. Yeah, it's a little personal. So I pr- I prefer doing strikes with people that I know. Yeah. You know bother me at all yeah that's fair I, unless I it's the corrupted I, oh, I, back to I, orbit no no seriously I, when it's the three of us that's when to me it's the most fun when oh, the three of us do the crew yeah because when we're in a freaking match on anything you could record it and get gold yeah exactly it's an improv class. It is. It really is. Yes, and um, well, well, it's that, it's that, it's that, that where I got look that. Look at you using the yes and. <laughs> yeah, There's that that clip where I go, oh, Brandon, I saw you take that hit like a man. Well done. Ow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there was there was like, I got this, I got this, I, I got, got a rock. rock. <laughs> the magic, the magic, baby, the magic. Follow them to glory. Do I have shadow keep? Yes, all three of us have shadow keep, gamer. Sorry, Love shadow gamer. keep, yeah. 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 Um, we've said before on this on this podcast that Shadow Keep is our favorite DLC since well, I, Forsaken. I, for, well, like, for me it was since uh, Iron Ma- uh, Iron uh, Rise of Iron. Rise of Iron. Thank you. Yeah, Rise of Iron. It's got iron in it. Yeah, it's got iron in it. It's got no iron deficiency there. Honestly, the best part of podcast in any form is the ability to feel like you're listening into a conversation, with the ability to throw in a comment here and there, whether it be the show, mid show, or after show, assuming you can make it to the live stream, of course. Well, Corey, that is the appeal. Yeah. That is why we tell people if you want if you want to see the unfiltered, unedited part of the podcast. It's it, it's weird. Hold on, this. Corey, it's two different colors. <laughs> <laughs> see, Brent, see, like B, is on, B is on the uh, B is on the the PC side chat, and I'm actually uh, doing I'm something always on the PC different. side. You're always on the PC side. I have a printer. Um, <laughs> I have an Epson you know, printer. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what is the HDD? of the free version of the game with no DLCs. What? Uh, the free version of the game is called New Light. Yeah. It's available on it's available on Steam. It's on everything. Yeah, it's on everything. Uh, you can go ahead and download New Light and it and, gives uh, you all of your one uh, access to free access to Crucible, free access to strikes. Um, you basically Gambit. get all the content up to Shadowkeep, correct? Basically, yes. Yeah, what you get the, the forges. H- what is the HDD? I don't know what that means. All right, hang on. <laughs> hang on. I will. Please elaborate. Please elaborate. And tap dance so loud you wake the dead. <laughs> um, There's glass oh, what here. Is, what is the, uh, probably, um, he's asking, uh, are you asking what is the, what is the, what is the size of it? Get the point. What is the size of it? The, uh. Hard disk space. Yeah, hard disk space. That does not um, acronym to HDD, but okay. Hard drive. That's okay. That's yeah, okay. hard drive. Did. How much I don't space? Density. It's like one. It's fifty-eight or something. It's Hang a on. lot. I'm I'm looking it up. Did you say density? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Uh, it takes minimum ten hours. No, it doesn't. The game install size. How many bought is your modem? <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah. That's mean. that's mean. Let's go back to the old BBS days, my friend. I can I can rock old technology with anybody in this room. How much space does Destiny New Light take up? Um, it says when Destiny's new Shadowkeep expansion drops in September, the game field. That's that's for Shadowkeep. Paul Tess. Um, Paul, Paul Tess. What about Paul Tess? You won't find answers on Google. This sounds like a threat. Um, <laughs> Destiny Two uses as much as two fifty to three hundred gigabytes of data per hour. Per hour, it's not gigs then. Can't be so, gigs. So uh, you won't find answers on Google. Okay, try Bing. <laughs> try, try, try Bing. Bing. <laughs> so okay, so ask right, Jeeves. <laughs> no, oh, Alta Vista, baby. Alta, Alta Vista. Vista. Right. I'll, I'll pull that up on Netscape. For That'll you. pull you up to your GeoCities webpage. You. It's under construction. <laughs> Don't. Um. Well, uh, you've got you've got some you've got some numbers in um uh, in, in your, your class gamer, gamer for you to look, look it's over. a download, but it's a download. Yeah. It'll tell, Steam will tell you it's, it's worth it. it. Don't worry about it. It's worth it. Yeah. It's really worth it. It's and, and it's good fun. It's good fun. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm not on PC, so you have to play with these guys. <laughs> 
I'm actually and I'm actually trying to make more time. Um, actually, I had a um, I had a a, a, a sit down with Delta. Uh, I heard. Yeah, that was that was fun. No, it was fun. Was it? It was fun. It was not as much fun as watching you scare the unholy shit out of yourself, but it was fun. Okay, we know what they're talking about. I really like you. You've been playing The Last of Us, and yeah. I love watching you scare the shit out of yourself. <laughs> okay, so what I do on this stream every Friday? Well, like a girl. Um, it's uh, so so every, so for Fridays I try to mix it up and I do a game different from Destiny. And I I just finished Shadow of the Tomb Raider, so that pretty much completes the the uh, the, the the reboot of the Tomb Raider trilogy thus far. Um, the reboots of Tomb Raider are absolutely brilliant. It's fantastic. Uh, there was some Bioshock in there, right? There. Oh, and I got I got Bioshock one and two. Loved Bioshock one and two. Um, I was gonna do Bioshock Infinite, but then Steve Saylor, friend of the show, Blind Gamer Steve, um, <clears throat> made he, the right call. He said he said you really need to play The Last of Us. Yes. And then all these people I started talking to were like, oh, you gotta play The Last of Us. Gotta play The Last of Us. And everyone that I've mentioned where I said I just started The Last of Us, like, oh. And, I'm like, well, and now that it's The Last of Us, it acronyms to Fuck <laughs> Off Friday. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because I'm telling you right now, <laughs> or Fuck I, You Friday, man. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, because, whew. so The Last of Us, The Last of Us is just ridiculous. Well, first off, it's ridiculously good. Oh, it yeah, is, it's amazing. For, for a post-apocalyptic game, it is absolutely gorgeous to look at, but it is also terrifying as fuck. It's um, some heart-wrenching. It is, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've only so gotten, well done. I've only gotten, like, I've only played, like, three or four sessions of it, and, um, it is absolutely fantastic. Uh. I think. Oh, um, fun fact: the guy who plays Bill, the Hermit Bill, mm -hmm. um, that is voiced, and I'm blanking on the actor's name now, but it's voiced by the actor who played Dan, one of Swearingen's sidekicks in Deadwood in the in the HBO TV series Deadwood. I kept hearing his voice, and I said, "I know this actor." I don't know why you're looking at me. I know this actor. I know this actor. Neither one of you have seen Deadwood. Let me look it up. You might want to look it up. No, that's right. You can't look <laughs> it up. But um, bing it, kids. But um Bing it kids. Of um Don't don't bing it. <laughs> Alright. All right. You know what? Um I'm sorry you don't like that idea, but I'm just gonna tell you right now. Um if you're if you're going in the direction if you're going in the direction you're going in classic gamer, uh I'm gonna I'm gonna time you out. Let's 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 be let's let's not let's not go there, okay? Let's not go there. Dude, if Eli was and, gay, that'd be awesome. Um hang on. Let's <laughs> Are we, are we talking? Are we still talking about Last of Us? I think I don't know who Eli is. Okay, I, I, really, I, I, I thought really, it was the main character, I but I could prefer, be wrong. I would prefer if we didn't have any spo uh, If we don't have any, but if Devon was here? gay, would that be cool? What was that? He is. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's just do this. Let's and Anna. I'm gonna throw this out there. That's oh, not, that's not the Last of Us. Okay. I thought it was. I, right. I, what's the main character? Is it Joel? No. What's well, this? Joel is the main character. Yeah. But, that's okay. But I was it's thinking insinuated that Bill. The, the 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 hermit that the, the Joel goes to to get the car that's where I'm at. Oh yeah yeah okay. okay. It, they insinuate that he could be gay. Um, uh, whatever. But uh, but anyway. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just I'm just saying. Oh, okay, it was a command. I thought it was a command. It's not a <laughs> command. Don't worry about it. Um, but uh, anyway. Um, as long as nobody's having sex with the zombies, everybody's gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There so we I can tell you. I haven't played it either. Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck! How do you um Chardonnay? <laughs> Free Wi-Fi! Oh God! We're going down another tangent. Going down another tangent. Um, uh. what uh, gamer? What what the, what is the advice? Oh, oh my God! Okay, okay. Bye. Bye, dude. Sturgill. See ya. Sturgill Simpson. Sturgill, Sturgill Simpson. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> See ya, dude. The dead Have fun, classic gamer. Die. Have fun. He's just being a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> um, so, um, Glad this is post-show, though. Yeah, but it is post-show. So, um, <laughs> there you go. So, um, Thank you, Marv. Thank you, Marv. What happened? You timed him out. You timed him out. Oh, thanks, Marv. Oh, hi, Dad. What happened? Oh, just we, we just had some trolls show up and... Um. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about Farrell. Hi, Farrell. How are you? So, did anybody have any uh, last minute questions for us? Because we've been uh, we're coming up on the two hour mark, and that's where we're gonna we're gonna wrap up our stream. Oh. Some homophobe that wanted to basically be a, be a, be a dick, and we knocked him out. I'm not wearing my pride shirt today. Oh <laughs> no! But you're wearing you're wearing, you you're wearing pride your pride shirt. Yeah. Pride, <laughs> my bungee pride shirt. Yep. Yep. 
I got I, I, I finally got mine. I finally got mine. Um, my gay dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> my gay dragon. Is that, is that figment? No, Spider-Man. no. Oh, from uh, Epcot Center? Yeah, from Epcot no, Center. No, uh, no. As far as we know, Figment's not gay. This is a gay dragon. No, it's, it's something completely unrelated. Hey, no. No, this is the way I look at trolls. Uh, this, this is how I look at trolls, uh, uh, Ariana. I look at trolls as um, as rites of passage. It's my Segura. I got a Segura. Where did you get that Segura, by the way? That's really slick. Don't remember. <laughs> I don't yeah. either. I, it yeah. might have been the, honestly, the no, it couldn't be the collector's edition. I have like seven more patches to put on this jacket. Yeah. Too, by the way. Like I'm named. You're running out of space. Oh there, no, buddy. I've got the back. So. <laughs> oh. I got, perfect. I got. Um. So nerd and needle, Elaine. Yeah. So cool. So um, I had ordered four patches from her because she's got the Saint 14 logo and the Titan logo and there were like two others and she, um, she DM me back on Twitter and she's like, oh, I didn't get them in the mail yet and I'm like, it's totally fine. Like it, I'm not. There's they don't explode. Wow. Right, uh, Marv, could you take care of uh, Classic Gamer because um, I'd like him out of chat, please. Thank you. So, uh, so she sent six. She's like, and I'm like, I, you didn't need to send two extras, but one of them is, uh, it's essentially Crota as the, the Ghostbusters logo. I would like. It's no, great. no, Marv, I would like a ban. I would like a ban. Thank you, Thanks, Marv. Huh. Well, that's that's a tryhard. Oh yeah, Came Cre- back. creates creates a brand be- mm-hmm. be- creates a brand new account with the same username. With the like, same I don't know why username. You... Come on, dude. Come on, dude. <laughs> thank wow. you, Marv. Well, thank you, Marv. <laughs> can I can I get can I get uh, thank you, Marv's in chat? Let me get thank you, Marv's in chat. GGS. GGS, Marv. That's why I made Marv my. GGS. Go right. gay. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, let's so see. I got invited. I don't know if I told you the story. So you know, gnarly nerd clothing. Yep, gnarlynerd.com. They're back. So I was wearing my geek quality shirt after hours in a, a at a, a um after our work event in Vegas. I think right. I hit the gym or whatever. Mm-hmm. And one of my sales guys huh. who was engaged at the time is now married to his husband. Uh, goes, oh my god, do you know about the pride event? And I go, what pride event? <laughs> our company puts on a pride event, like at our big sales kickoff. So we went and there were like, you know, 40, 50 people just hanging out in this uh, entire, uh, you know, swanky hotel area and got to just kind of chill out. But it was really cool to be like, you know, we're just that inclusive. And yeah, there's uh, no, there are, your company's awesome. There are badges that you can put on your internal profile. Uh, hey, hey, got it. I only need to hear myself once. For, I hear you. For, I hear you. Let alone all the voices. For, <laughs> Hi, Eris. <laughs> You wake up that way and they're just all around. Yeah, makes sense. I'm the only one that can see them. You're all insufferable. <laughs> all right, I don't um, think anything in The Last of Us will beat the initial cutscene of uh, Shadowkeep when T screamed at the Phantom. That was so funny. It was oh, hilarious. I, I was in class. <laughs> <laughs> I had headphones in and the thing just comes towards the screen. It was the funniest thing. Oh my god, he came back a third time. No, he didn't. He banned the initial account. Oh, I thought I banned the initial account, but okay. Whatever. Timed out the initial account. Yeah, I was screaming at a fandom. I admit it. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's something I do well. It's went, something I do uh, well. Yeah, yeah. Went, All right. Ah! I did. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and let AutoHost do its thing. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thank you very much. Marv, thank you for uh, for for clocking in some time with us as well. Thanks, Marv. And Marv, thanks again for being the mod with the most. I the really band hammer. The, with the band hammer, I really do appreciate you staying on top of that. Um, just gonna let uh, auto host uh, go. Uh, but first off, everybody, thank you all for the tips, bits, subs, host, and auto host, and for hanging out with us here at this live recording of Happy Hour from the Tower. We will be back in two weeks, probably next week, with me, me, and Pip doing the shared desk. Um, I will also be on tomorrow morning, 5 a.m., bright and early, because tomorrow I'm taking I'm taking the day off. It's a holiday, and I'm going to enjoy it, and I'm going to get some more gaming in. I'll be on the train. Ugh, humans. I have to work. I have to travel. Sorry, buddy. It's okay. Sorry, buddy. It's a train. It's I'm easy. also going to be taking some time out to do some job hunting, too. So that, uh, that. That's probably worth all it. All right. So, everybody, thank you all very much. We appreciate each and every one of you being here. Take care of yourselves. Have a great night. Peace.